Looks like that's what we're gonna have to do. That's what we're gonna have to do because some reason the audio in OBS reset. So let's just start over. Welcome to Goblets of Warlots. My name is Jugan. This is our charity stream, episode three. We support Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Uh, my mom is a survivor. That is why. Um, that's why I support, and that's what we do here on Goblets of Warlots. So if anybody else wants to talk about that, uh, why they support it, they very much share their story. Um, tonight's giveaway is a Loot Studios pack from their site. All you need to do is have an account with them and send me the your the email associated with that account so I can get the pack of your choosing. So enter that giveaways exclamation point ticket in the chat to do so. Um, yes, uh, it's episode three. Um, giveaway Discord, join our Discord. Come say hi to us. Have some fun there too. Uh, Weasel does in, in our Discord does monthly competitions. Uh, starting next month, I'll start the giveaways up again. Um, and YouTube, come join the YouTube. Go follow, subscribe on YouTube, and um, catch the previous episodes of this there. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And the links to our live stream is also down there as well. Isoldi, your turn. Hey, I'm Isold. Uh, I am Jugin's uh, co-DM for this charity stream. As he mentioned, this is for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Uh, if you have some money or some spare money, please consider uh, supporting uh, the charity. All of the donations will go directly to the charity. And in addition, the, the donations will take us up a little bit further on the reward list. Uh, so you get to help the players out. So we have some really fun things. I think they're getting close to, um, uh, to some magic items some ability boosts and maybe even a level up. Um, so let's help them out because Jugan and I are assuming that you guys are going to help them. We have some pretty scary things planned for them. Um, other than that, um, you'll find me on Jugan's other, on Jugan's channel in one of his games. Um, I will eventually start to stream. I promised I was going to last week, but I didn't. It happens. Um, yeah. Oh, and uh, join the Discord and say hi. If you say hi, I'll say hi. Uh, let's pass it over to Silver. Hi, I'm Silver Wolf. I play Jean in this event. Um, I would like to thank everyone who has donated. It's very much appreciated. It's going for a great cause. And uh, I'm going to be on hiatus for a little bit longer for streaming myself. But besides that, you'll see me here on Goblets and Warlocks every other Sunday and here for the charity event. So please join us. All right. Uh, Grimora. Or sorry, Hello. that's your character name. Nihilish. That's, that's fine. <laughs> I knew who you were talking to. Hello, this is Nylish. I'm playing Grimoire tonight. I also play in some of uh, Jugan's other games. You'll see me Friday playing Vera. Um, uh, and I did not stream this week either. Also, reasons. <laughs> but we'll be, don't worry. I'm a little stuck on Throne of Liberty at the moment. Um, uh, also want to thank everyone for the support they're doing for the breast cancer here. Uh, I know um, it, I have a personal interest in that as well, um, considering things with my family. So any any donations are truly, truly thank you. Can't say more than that. Um, and that's all you got for me. All right. Uh, Summit for Dream. Hey guys, uh, I'm Summit. I'm usually streaming online weekdays. I'm usually on every day, but I'm on a hiatus for moving, so I'll be back on track uh, hopefully in December. This is uh, a lot of fun so far. My first taste of D&D in a very, very long time. I've never played online like this either, so uh, thanks for joining us. I'm playing Tags, episode three. Let's get it. And uh, Mr. Dejichi. Hi, Mr. Zojinshi. I'll be playing Shock Pa My Lore. Um, thank you guys for all coming in. Uh, Nerd Hala. Hi, I'm Nerd Hala. Uh, thank you, everybody who's donated so far. Uh, I'll be playing Zorpo. Uh, you can find me uh, three days a week painting minis, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. And uh, right now, my D and D group is on hiatus until November twelfth. So. And the man, the myth, the legend. Hey, everybody! I'm Cleansing Rain. Uh, 
might not be the most politically correct thing to say, but I like boobs, I like D&D, &D, and here we get to do both, and I like feeling good when I give my money away, so if you like those things, consider donating to this campaign for the BCRF fundraiser. Um, I stream on Mondays, but not until November 11-11 is when I resume my campaign. You can see me like some of the rest of the players on other nights of the week here at Goblets and Warlocks channels as well as at some other channels playing D&D &D most of the time. Pretty much uh, every night of the week. Not exactly, but pretty much. All right. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for doing this. And thank you for saving the boobs as well, because we like them too. I don't know. It just sounds creepy when I say it. All right. Uh, let's just get it. Grab your goblet, sit back, and relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you guys. Welcome back. And Tads, would you like to lead us tonight's recap? All right. Or... So basically, uh, this squad was pretty much shopping in the town of Yildravia. We were all scattered, getting some stuff. Um, Festress and Jean found themselves in a cemetery temple. Uh, which uh, turned out to be uh, they found some ghosts and got into a scrap. Took us a while for uh, the rest of the group to catch up, but when we did, um, we we found ourselves fighting some ghosts. Um, Festerus, uh raised the dead, uh, and the zombies were some of uh some of gene's acolytes so uh, there's some tension there zorpo blew up tags's face so uh there's some tension there as well um when we uh when zorpo blew up tags face uh it was to go into a hidden hidden door and we found a secret room where there were some 
There was a puzzle uh, that I didn't help with at all, and uh, the bunch of bunch of magic items on the walls and uh, in the sarcophagus. I think it was a sarcophagus. And so we uh, we find ourselves just leaving the room and picking up from there. All right. Um, sorry, I'm still. I had to relaunch the bot. Um, so there we go. Let's try that again. Put the shout outs out again. Uh, bot had to uh, be updated as well. Let's do this. Boom. There we go. It fits now. All right. Uh, so what are we doing? Uh, let's go through. Gene, what are you doing in this moment? Uh, probably finishing up the ceremony for my dead acolytes. Okay. You want to describe what that ceremony looks like? Before uh, we canonize this, re recall I was hoping to use Speak with the Dead on one of them before our okay. full-fledged proceedings. Yeah, yeah. So before Go we on. put them in the ground. Go ahead. You can do Speak with the Dead on Gene, one of Gene's acolytes. Correct. And Gene's going to allow this. I don't know about that. <laughs> Do you want to know who killed them and why? Who better to ask than the one holding the knife, right? Or, wait, I guess he's holding it now. Yeah, wait his neck. One time. That's it. Well, we only have one body left anyway, so, you know, what one is all we'll need. Mm-hmm. Do you, uh, do you the, mind if I take notes in case anyone gets cursed? Go for it. We were getting cursed. What? Oh, you never know. Anything involving the dead. We are in that temple. It just, okay. it just screams curse. Nope, nope. Yeah. I'm going to stand far away from you guys. You guys have fun. We are at a temple that seems to be really adamant about what side of the scales they're on at this moment. For those who are unaware of how this works, we will have uh, time to ask a few questions, but... They can answer any question that we all say, so please be careful with them, as this can only be done once. And, uh, he's going to pull out Gomez's uh, skull, and he's going to be like, All right, Gomez. And as he's kind of shrouding him, a little bit of black smoke starts to leak out of his eyes, and he says, We need to speak to these to find out who their killers were. And as the smoke gets to be substantial enough, he's going to blow it across the lifeless corpse of uh, one of the acolytes. Hmm. So uh, you blow it over the, the corpse of, we'll say, Samson. Samson, the acolyte. Uh, and you see him kind of like just, his body's like, shoot right up vertical like his so his, his like legs are still on the ground but his, his body is upright it's like ah! looking around at the group <clears throat> samson do you remember what happened the night you died uh, um Yes. Was those one. who slayed you someone that you knew? Uh, no, no, they were not anybody that I, I knew. 
Gene, what's going on? You were murdered. Why? Do you know what attacked you? It was this thing with really long claws. It slashed at me when I wasn't looking. I heard screaming and I ran away. I'm sorry. There's Where no need to be did... sorry. Go ahead. Where did this claw thing come from? Did you see it come from this chamber downstairs? Did it come from outside? It came from the main floor. I think from the front entrance. Was this entity's intention for just malice or was it searching for something? I don't think it cared about me. I think I was just in the way. I thought if I ran in the basement, I would be safe, but that's where it was headed. How many questions is that? I think four. That was five. That was, that five. was five. Yep. What piece, Samson? Fun. Gene, also see you. Fun we're having. Dark. To the side. I know. And then it's he safe, falls though. down. And his body collapses. Thank you, uh, SPN Deadpool. KCCO for the follow. You can just see Gene just take a deep breath and walk away for a bit to take a breather. Take your time. We got a 20 second ad break. So, how does that work? Do we just sit here until the ad's over? Well, she's. It was, it was five seconds left, so. <laughs> she's deep in thought, so it kind of made sense. And now we're back. They shouldn't have died. They shouldn't have gotten in the way. How, why? <sighs> we learned balls. That's what I'm getting. Gene, do you think they could be related to the people we met outside the forest? I'm not actually coincidence. similar. I think so. Uh, Festerus and Jean, do you want to give me a Arcana roll? Zorpo, you can do as well, but it would be a disadvantage. Sorry. My dog is going nuts right now. Well done. 17. Uh, 24. 24. And Zorpo? One second. One. Uh, that's a 17 with disadvantage. Oh, wow. Uh, the 17, so that's Festerus and Zorpo. Uh, you have enough knowledge of, ne ne like, the School of Necromancy, um, Festerus, for sure. Um, that you can kind of tell this is, well, definitely necromantic magic, obviously, of course. Um, definitely the practitioner of this necromancy source, or I don't even know if you would call it a practitioner, whatever source that created these undeads, you can you can kind of tell that they're related in some way. Um, like there's a, there's a bit of a magical signature, you know that when you cast your magic, you can tell that it was your spells. You can see that there's similar art that went into this. Uh, Jean was a 24. Um, you're sure that the the magic of the, of these things it's not it's not the magic of Elmaros it's not the magic of 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 anything you've seen before but it's it's the same it's, you don't know if they if these creatures knew each other but whatever created them is the same. well it seems that we've gotten what they were seeking with that disc 
which gives us an advantage in this foot race. Speaking of that disc, Jean, whenever you've tied up your affairs, are you ready to head out? Yes, just let me bust them to the next world. All right. Jean, what does that look like? Uh, you're going to see Jean bow her head and then black and red smoke are going to kind of billow around her as she sets up a prayer of O Velmaros, Keeper of the Veil, Guardian of the Spirits who cross beyond, we call upon your wisdom and grace this day to look humbly upon our gathering, O Divine Watcher. Hmm. Protect those who have passed for their journey forward onto the next life. May your hands, gentle and firm, guide them to your arms. We honor those who have gone before us. We ask for your blessing over Maros. In your name, we trust and pray. So be it. And you can see the when she's saying this, it'll start to glow more red and kind of pulse <clears throat> with an energy. And as the prayer ends, you'll see it slowly fade away back as nothing happened. And uh, what does your religion usually do with the bodies of the dead? Do they are they cremated? Are they are they we, safe now? We create cremate them, so we're gonna have to set up a pyre. But their souls should be on their way to the journey. Once we cremate them, they'll be able to finally pass. If you guys are willing to help do this real quickly before we go, that would be great. Yeah. I can no taking any bones. Him help us. Tags no. will help. I can lend a hand. Thank you. Yeah, your your temple is is well equipped for this. You are, of course, the only uh, the only major temple in in, in town. Um, uh, so you, you have all oh the no. yes. Hmm? Uh, Festerus asked a question. I don't think he was acknowledged. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I. <clears throat> I was just being cynical, saying I could raise, no. raise them to oh, help, him, help no. them build the pyre. Oh, nope. Okay, but, got yeah. it. My apologies, continue. It's you're good, okay. you're good, you're good. I see. Uh, Gene, yeah, the, this shouldn't be much of an issue. Your your facilities, um, you, you definitely have the facilities to handle this. Obviously, the help you normally have is no longer here. Um but uh, but definitely the these people are are definitely strong enough to lift these these young young bodies up and and, and carry them to the furnace. All right, I don't I don't know if we want to go ahead and, and and act all that out. So I'm happy to say that we have we've completed this this solemn ritual. Um, no. and it is. Uh, did you guys rest when you were here yet, or is it the, the not night? yet? No. Definitely All right. resting while they're doing that. I'm not helping. I'm bored. Yeah. So I think at this point of the day, it's, you know, definitely just past dusk. Um, you have had, you have had a long, a long trip. Um, but you can, you can forge forward. Um, what would you guys like to do? I'd like to attune to the cloak that I found kind of kind of while the ritual's going on I think I'd like to just work on that in the shadows as you are tuned to this cloak it was like very oversized on you as you sit there and concentrate give me arcana check oh there we go 14. Not bad. Even with a minus one. Uh, yeah. As you're concentrating on it, you can. S you're not used to concentrating on stuff like this. And then it takes you a minute, a little bit longer than usual. But eventually you see the black in that red outline robes, similar to what uh, Jean is kind of wearing as it starts shrinking in forms to the size of your body. And. Mm -hmm. You now can attune to it. Um, 
Do was anybody else need to attune to anything? Uh, uh, I have a ring. He, 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 yep. As do I. I'm trying to put it on my hand. Which ring? So, ring of protection. Ring of spell storing. Yeah, we gave them two at the end. Does both of them need a tune too? I believe so. They're both magical items. Okay. Uh, you want to do the spell storing one? Soldi? Ah, yeah, absolutely. Um, are you doing this during the ceremony? Sounds like they are. All right, because I don't think you can actually help perform, you know, a ceremony and uh, a tune at the same time. So that means currently. Hags and Nerdhala are out, so everyone else has to do the heavy lifting. Um, uh, Nerdhala, so you, uh, well, you start by, you know, putting the ring on. Zorpo. Um, Zorpo, Zorpo, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, Zorpo, you, okay. put the, you put the ring on, um, and you spend the next hour uh, sitting, meditating, um, checking your notes, uh, feeling the power of the ring and making the calculations in your head, trying to imagine, figuring out, okay, I need to... I need to put a little more power here. I have to, you know, allow myself to feel the energy here. Um, and you attune to the ring. They, the ring is empty. Um, so you know that you will have to uh, store some spells in there before you go for a long rest. Well, she finds out how many slots it has in it. And I forgot what we decided. Um, I believe we said it was, I don't know. Let me check. I think you said four levels uh, i thought you rolled a four and you said minus one so three yeah. three yeah not six okay. slots thank you not six slots no <laughs> no um shata uh as you go to put on the ring and you start feeling the effects it's very similar to the cloak you the same effects that the cloak is providing that you are wearing almost identical as you put them on and it takes you no time really to uh, very minimal effort to attune to this ring as you put it on uh, I will say this for flavor as you put it on it pulsates through your hand and arm and the the green veins that you try to cover of your heritage pulsates through your arm. Mm. Who's, who, uh, are you with anybody when you put it on? Um, probably if we're all standing at, this is the funeral, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I imagine Jean would be in front of us and we would all be kind of lined similarly behind her so I'd probably in the in the crowd while she's doing her prayer who's a who has the highest passive perception besides Jean because Jean's doing the ceremony tags is pretty high tags tads that's kind of it kind of works out a little bit uh tads as you're struggling to try to attune to the side and you can see shata shata Malor put this ring on and really Realizing that's how you kind of got the vibe how they really put it on they get the cloak to thing on what which hand would it be on Shata that you see a very nice Sidney ring which hand would I put this this ring of protection on no no your other ring that we had talked about the other one would be on the left hand on the left hand you see this other type of ring and it's like a what you would call a Sidney ring, Tads. Uh, I, sorry, I just see that he has two rings on. Yeah, you see a second ring as you're watching him as he put the ring on to attune to it. You see another ring on his left hand that looks like a Sidney ring. Okay. Um. If you wanted to do anything with that information, of course you don't have to. <laughs> I'm not sure with I. I'll be honest. I don't. I don't know what that means. A, a signet. A signet. Like a it's signet, got like a, like a family is, crest. Yes. Okay. Not necessarily a family crest, but definitely a marking of some some family or organization or something that important that bears an emblem. Yeah. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Shakta. What's this other ring on your on your other hand? Does it mean something? This other ring? Uh, this was passed down to me by my mother. So she told me it was a family ring that my father had once owned. It's the only thing I really have left of him and his side. It's very well made. Thank you. All right. Uh, we'll say the ceremony concludes. Um, and then I guess everybody heads off to where y'all want to sleep. Gene, do you want to sleep at the temple still? Yeah, I'll still sleep at the temple. I think uh, I think we should stay with Jean, um, being that this is the second attempt on her life in the last 24, 48 hours. And honestly, temple is a little bit better than that shack she brought us to earlier. Um, tags you give here. The attitude, I give you the crappy inn, okay? Well, it's either crappy inn. Or we leave you here tonight, you get ambushed and murdered while we sleep. They take whatever that little thing you found was, and we're, um, we're directionally lost. No, we, just, we can't speak with that on her. Tags would like to also take a moment, because the, the body said that the, the creature came in the front door, and we're in, like, the their middle of, like, a town, right? So I was going to go out and look for footprints or try to find where this guy may have come from. Investigation check. Uh, what is everybody else doing in this moment? I'm waiting to have a small group chat just to <laughs> ensure that we got supplies and stuff that we needed because we were low on almost everything. Okay. And I didn't do any shopping, so... I would like to verify that before we. Uh, Taz, you can describe to me why you're so distracted or how you get what you went to go do is look for footprints, what you got distracted by. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I got a one. So I went out and I went to go and look for something. But when I get outside, I just can't remember what what I came out here for. Ha! Huh. Swear oh. there was something right there. <laughs> uh, you're like, oh, this cloak is kind of shiny in the moonlight. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 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 so it's canonical that tags as ADHD. Got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, we kind of did that. Zorpo, what are you doing in this moment? I was actually going to... Um... Go help Tags. <laughs> okay, you um, walk outside. You see Tads kind of just twirling with this little cloak, and it's, he's kind of looking at it all. Uh, did you did you find anything? Huh. Um, not yet. But look at my cloak. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna uh I'm I'm make I'm I'm giving Zorpo a mean look. And <laughs> there is my face has been blown up about five minutes ago. Or I don't know, how long ago? Was it maybe an hour? How long was the ceremony? Maybe, you know, so I go up to Zorpo and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk right up to Zorpo nose to nose and just I'm going to hold up one of your favorite bookmarks and I'm just going to say next time it's the page and I'm just going to drop it just kind of walk back inside uh, Which book? Zorpo could you give me a uh, an insight check So well, that was at disadvantage. So the first one was a 17. Oh no, that was just regular uh, 19. Yeah, you remember while you were were solving the puzzle that Tags was getting a little bit close to you at one point. He was kind of kind of you know being a little bothersome, 
Um, and you're thinking that perhaps at that moment in time he might have snuck one of your bookmarks out. Um, unless you were exactly remember the exact page, you do not know where you were while you were reading Ancient Crypts and Curses, uh, your current favorite book. You'll probably have to start from the beginning. Tags, you do know what this means. Just gonna turn around and hiss. <laughs> and then I'm gonna I'm gonna disappear into the shadows like Batman. I'm gonna hide. Going away. Uh, Don't talk to me. Uh sorry to cut in real quick. I had to restart the giveaway, so if you're already entered in, you're gonna have to re-enter in for the giveaway. So exclamation point ticket. Because uh, I had to restart the bot, so it messed up the giveaway. So make sure you just do it again to re-enter in. I see Follow Tig putting it in, but it's not coming up, so I don't know if you have to be a follower or not. I have permission for everyone, though. That's weird. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Continue. Uh, are, are, we, are we sleeping? Right. Are we sleeping? Uh, or we're getting, is it we're, getting we're, there. Getting there, okay. Uh, uh, Grim, what as, are you doing as, this as, as tags... Right. Oops, sorry. I was going to say, as tags disappears... Uh, uh, you just see a little, this little tiny cobalt fisted Thea going, TAGS! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, is anybody else doing something uh, before we conclude the evening? Did everybody manage to get plenty of food and supplies here. You're muted. Shakta, you're muted. I have my food and supplies. I went and got them earlier. Zach, or Grimora, do you have food and supplies? I have stuff. If not, I'll go hunt. I got more right. plenty stuff. Gene, is there any food and supplies in the temple that we could probably use on our, our trek? Yeah. I know there'll be eight or so less mouths to feed, so... <laughs> Not the time. Not appropriate, best race. Can we look around the temple for what they have as far as food and supplies? It's downstairs where we just fought. That's where we keep all the food and everything. At least part of it. I would say that the uh, there is a, a decent amount of supplies uh, for food and 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 some, some water uh, in, in the basement. Um, it's not particularly as good as as you know rations for example like it may not last as long yeah. um and it's definitely not as flavorful like i'm thinking like the equivalent of like union bread um but it it will sustain you and it's free i would like to get some of that yeah festus will gather some up and i suppose leave uh what he deems to be the gold equivalent at wherever looks like a offering donation area. Not yeah. much, though. Um, Mistress, if you want to take off maybe like four gold, um, and then that's enough to get, you know, probably a good four or five rations. Um, well, for yourself, um, Zorpo, Tags, and uh, Shakta and Grim. Jean's on her own. Well, last session I bought 10 uh, things of rations for five gold. So I have like 10 rations already. OK. 
Okay, then I think we're good. Okay, uh, I had to restart the giveaway again, and uh, it was a setting within the bot that I had to turn off, so now everybody truly can enter in the giveaway. <laughs> so if you have if you need you have to re-enter, you have to re-enter, sorry. <laughs> no there we go, there we go. All right, uh, basically I was trying to say you gotta have points within the bot, it means you had to been here for a while, so I just turned that completely off, then everybody could uh, enter in. We in there now. All right, that works now, sweet. I think maybe that's why we were having trouble last time. Maybe. Anyway. Uh, all right. Uh, sorry, I was kind of distracted. Where are we at right now? Uh, they've just found some food. Uh, some Enough rations to last them four or five days. Um, I think we're winding down for the evening. It's uh, getting pretty late now. Um, probably an hour, after, uh, hour or two after dusk. Okay. Um, and everybody's staying at the temple? I'm staying at the temple. If Jean's staying, I'm staying. We can't risk her running away with the one relic that might lead us to what we're after. Now, question for you. Or would you like to just stay in the main the main chapel area? Or would you like to try and inhabit the dormitories of the people who just passed away? Wherever Jean goes, I will be a room away. In the dormitories. Yeah, Tags as well is going to thoughtlessly just go snuggle up in one of those beds. Does the rest of the town seem just fine? Nothing else happened to anything? They don't care about some pier being burned up here? No, no one's questioning anything? Um, Mora, no one in this town left when they chased Jean out. Uh... So I don't That's think true. they're too concerned about the clergy That's members. Um, no offense, Jean, but oh, I'm if they're willing offense. to sacrifice you, I'm uh, not Grim. sure they would really get far. Grim, could you give me a perception and or or, or an insight check, either or? Probably better perception. Uh, 18? Yeah, this is kind of a general perception of not just right now, but like ever since you arrived in this town, you can definitely see and feel that this town has hit upon some, some hard times um, over the past year or so. Uh, um, these are people who are run down and trying to make the best of their lives. Um, bad things happen to them often. Um that must be why both of those stores I went to, even the end, there was like no one there at first. It was all run down. Yeah, okay, I get you. All right. Um, uh, Zorpo, what are you doing? Uh, Zorpo is choosing spells to store in the the ring. Uh, once you've chosen, please send me a list. Yes. Okay. Uh... I'd say we have last last chance to uh, to chat with anybody, and then we'll we'll call it the evening. Does anybody? I'm Good gonna time. keep watch for a bit, considering we don't know what's gonna happen again. Are right, we go down? Are right. right, we go down the list? Jean, do you want to talk to anybody? No, she's gonna be just very irritated, and pissed that they're staying at the temple and taking the rooms that the, they just passed I like, have just just fine whatever and she'll head straight to her room and slam the door all right Kermora anybody you want to talk to fuck no they can go to bed that's the whole point got it Shata Shata my lord um, I'm gonna go make myself familiar with the room nearby jeans and see uh, look around the room see if there's anything interesting I find Okay, Festress. Um, I'm probably gonna 
Look for a semi-comfy spot in the cemetery outside to meditate in. Uh, but also, meanwhile, like serving a purpose of if Gene tries to sneak out and gets past everybody else, then I would be out there also. Okay. Uh, Zorpo? Well, I already asked you, didn't I? Tags? Anybody you want to talk to? Oh, you sleeping? Got it. <laughs> well, that being said, does anybody want to do anything while people try to sleep? If not, we'll go ahead and call it so everybody can get a long rest. And then, Fester, you can give me a perception check. With disadvantage, because you'd probably be sleepy. Six. Yeah, you you try to keep up a strong figure, but even you, you get sleepy and you fall asleep at some point. All right. Um. Uh, Gene, can you just give me a really quick stealth check? You can send it in private if you want. Oh, we all see it, though. A little late seven. for that. Yeah. Oh, fair. She's got a nine. Uh, I'll say I'll give Grimora one pat, one, one perception check because she says she's the one staying up for watch. Everybody else went to sleep, so. Yep. What? No. That is a twenty-one. Yeah, in the middle of the night. Uh, you do, you do, well, basically, well, here, mostly, uh, Jean, leave her room. Uh, and then she heads into the, uh, the temple's, um, preparatory room. Um, and then a few minutes later, you see her return. What you doing? Oh yeah, you forgot you're on watch. Just a midnight snack. <laughs> She's Good night. Uh, give me a perception check, Gamora. Bound to roll bad eventually. Jean's also gonna pull her head hood a little bit lower. <laughs> uh, seventeen. All right, uh, we'll say, give me a, we'll do a deception for Gene. Okay. Come on, give me a good roll. 17, I just. <coughs> well. I will say this, uh, Grimoire, you see one of these actions as she uh, wipes her mouth as she starts, goes into the room. Yeah, she's a sloppy eater. Well, you said all the food was downstairs. Where'd you get whatever the hell that was? What'd you eat? My personal stash. Share. Nope. I'm going to go in that room and go look for things now. You're not going to find much, but okay. Have at it. He's going to stand there and watch you. All right. Uh, uh, investigation check, please. Twenty-one. Uh, you're gonna find. Uh, mostly, you're seeing a lot of the stuff that's used for, you know, the day-to-day -day rituals. Uh, a lot of the stuff was uh, similar to the stuff that was in the basement, but you know, clearly out, ready and set to be used. So there's lots of incense. Um, there's various liquids and oils. Uh, some thick, some thin. Um, there are some some robes that are set out. There's definitely some. Um, some some of the um, artifacts and uh, symbols of Velmaros uh, dot the room all over the place. Um, is there anything you would like to specifically look at? 
There no food? Where's the food? There's no food in here. We done? You didn't have to stay. Go to bed. Well, you are infiltrating my personal area, so... We're all in your personal space right now. Get over yes. it. You don't no, think I'm going to actually... come right back in here when you do go to bed? No, you probably will. But... Good luck. You staying up with me then? Might as well, since everyone else is asleep. And since it doesn't seem safe to... In the town anymore, I might as well. Why are you so violent? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? The aggression, the anger, and the way you went after that dragon and the dragon lich. Don't attack me. I was supposed to be able to defend myself. That's fine, but the other times were a little um, unnecessary. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. If you don't attack, you die. As your friends have noticed. As you should notice, you were on the ground how many times? You can't count, can't do you? Can you? I can count fine. You mm -hmm. were down this many times. That's too many, but good luck on that one. I can fix that. You do realize you're in the Temple of Almaros. My power's stronger here. Who cares? Temple's in my boat. All your people died. They didn't have any power. They were learning. They failed. You think I don't know that? They're gone and they're not here anymore. You don't need to repeat There's so it many ways again. you can say dead, but dead, yes, they failed. You know, if you were here when they got attacked and didn't run away in the woods for, you know, like a full day, two days, you know, maybe, it's maybe either they would be the alive. Whole, either the whole town would have gone if that thing followed me, or it would have been just me. I didn't expect him to go after anything else or to find this secret room in this temple. Grimora, what's your passive insight? Not that high, probably. My passive insight is at 12. Okay. Uh, as... Sh Where was your passive perception then? I guess it's... 17. More. 17. We'll go in the middle because it kind of combines of both. As you see Jean getting a little disgruntled, maybe her mouth opens a little bit more, you start to see a few pointy teeth. As you have in this conversation. Uh, not sure I would know what to do with that. <laughs> You're really not going to share your food with me? No. I'm going to go around and start just messing with shit. I'm going to put it okay, on a okay, pile. Okay. It's not food for you guys. You guys won't be able to devour it, okay? What, what's that supposed to mean? You guys. Are you talking about us kobolds? Kobolds, whatever. The half-human-looking guys with the weird eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who are you calling weird? The, 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 the humans looking with the weird eyes. I'm calling them weird. Kobolds I'm normal used to. The others not so much. 
don't know what they are exactly yet. I don't know where you are either. What, what, why does it matter? It's not often you see them in here. It's not often you see you guys here. But it does happen occasionally. Rarely. Then you don't know what we eat. We could eat some of this too. You prefer meat. But I prefer something different. You really want to eat, deal with vegetables? What kind of vegetables? Broccoli, celery, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought. Deception check. Fifteen. Uh, good morning. Roll an insight check. Nope. You th- you think it's weird at how she's saying how it's turned to like broccoli and stuff, but you're not. I think really it's weird. Seeing- yeah, I don't see any. Of, yeah, yeah, you don't see any, but it's kind of weird that she's saying that. But it's whatever. Hmm. She's just weird. I'm going back on watch. But I'm coming back in here to look for things later. <laughs> the most honest thief of all time. <laughs> All right, Jean, are you going back to bed? Uh, yeah. Might as well get to sleep. Okay. Gamora, are you going back in there after she goes back to bed? Just don't yeah. mess with stuff any too much. I mean, I'm not going to know any more than my last investigation check, but yeah. I mean, if you investigate just, stuff specifically that was described to you, it would be different. But. No, I'm just going to pick up things here and there and put them in what a pile. You, I kind of want to just be annoying. Well, what are you picking up? Let's see. What was everything in here? Zoldi. <laughs> Sorry, what? She's asking what was everything in there. Oh, there was mainly... Um... The stuff you would need for a daily ritual or or daily uh, practicing uh, of, of a faith. So there's a lot of like oils and liquids, um, <clears throat> jars of, of of liquid all like you know around the room. Um, definitely some devout symbols, incense, candles. I'm gonna make a smiley face with the incense, and then just start piling the jars on top of each other. Um, you give me a performance check. <laughs> five. A five. Uh, that is uh, definitely a face you have made of some kind. Um, it's it's hard for Cobalt to smile. You're doing your best. Just wanted to know I was here. All right. All right. Is that all you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the night goes without other issues. Uh, so you can everybody take a long rest. And then we'll go down the list. Gene, what is your morning ritual? When was it look like? As far as like you selecting spells and stuff. Uh, basically what she did last time, she's going to have a black, uh, red and um, black, uh, like kind of smoky orb, kind of just kind of picking and choosing and like replacing of her spells. All right. Grimora, did you eventually go to sleep, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay, you eventually went to sleep, Grimora. So when you wake up, uh, what does your morning ritual look like? I'm going to swing my axe around. Practicing. Possibly in the cemetery, just uh, keep an eye on Festress. Okay. 
we'll get to that point. Uh, Shatamalar, what do you look like? What do you do for your morning rituals? You're muted on uh, Zoom. Wake up, do a good stretch, and then probably uh, start looking for a head count. See where everyone's at. Zorpo, what are you doing? What does your morning rituals look like? Uh, copy, uh, copy new spells into my book for the day. Okay. And uh, Festers, as you're like waking up, you see uh, Grimoria and her just practicing swinging away. And what does your morning ritual look like? Well, I have a image in my mind that as I slept in a graveyard, one of my cantrips is mold earth. So I want to say that I slept in a shallow grave, like buried everything except my face. And that's how he slept. Uh, so when he wakes up, he's going to kind of sit up out of it and the dirt comes off and he's going to look around and he'll I, grab I, Gomez. I got to ask, what does Grimora do when she sees your face just like sleeping like that? I'm swinging my axe at it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Roll an attack. Oh, God. Well, this is. <laughs> you know, you're attacking a wizard, right? Like, they have like 4 HP. You know this, right? Hey, I, I rolled a. Four, so thirteen. See, see, I rolled, I rolled horrible. I'm still waking up. Thirteen hits. <laughs> so here's how we flavor it. Uh, uh, Freshers, as you wake up, as you're standing up out of the ground, you get smacked in the face by this ats. Do your damage. <laughs> fifteen slashing. Yeah, 15 slashing damage there, Phaestra says. You get cut up beside the face as you rise up. Gamora! What the hell, Phaestra? What the hell indeed? What are you doing hitting me in the face as soon as I wake up? Why were you in the ground? There's no better sleep than in a shallow grave. Everyone knows that. We just fought a bunch of things that looked like that. I I I, I got confused. I got confused. I'm not, I'm sorry. Does that mean you'll give me some of your blood as an apology? Fuck no. Brother, how come no one gives us any blood? But he'll, he'll forgive it and move along. Walk back, kind of towards the temple, taking in the morning. All right. Uh, Shata, you realize that as you're doing a head count, the only people in your temple right now is Jean, Tads, and Zorpo. I think I would walk outside to uh, witness whatever just happened. For a witness, there's a nice little gash on the side of Festress. Good morning, Grimora. Festress. See, you two are getting along swimmingly. <laughs> oh, you've made a new friend. He got in the way of my axe, Festerus. Well, it's uh, certainly one way to get the blood flowing in the morning. <laughs> Gonna continue to kind of dab it and lick it. I know you preferably prefer it's not yours. Well, I mean, I prefer other people's blood, but mine is good too, I suppose. <laughs> uh, I will hand over a uh, potion of healing. Could be a better way to start the day, but always be prepared. And toddle off with my book. Go ahead and drink the potion. All right. Can you just tell me what the roll is? Uh, 2d4 plus, 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 two, plus right? 2. Yeah. Seven. Uh, 
Nice. Thank you, Zarpo. You are an educated kobold, and I appreciate it. <laughs> so as the healing potion doesn't completely feel, fully heal you, you can feel the, the cut on the side of your face close up, and you're no longer bleeding, but the blood stains are still there. Remora, what do we say? You got in the way of my axe? It's not very nice, Grimora. She can't just start chopping up people in the morning. He got off easy. I wasn't exactly awake. It's all right, really. She said she was afraid, so... Remora was afraid? That's what she I'm said. Sorry, I think I, I think I heard wrong. Uh, what, 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 what were you, what were you saying? No, I heard you were, I heard you were scared, Grimora. That's fine. I won't tell anybody, besides Zorbo tags, maybe Jean. But outside of them, should be fine. It'll be our I'm, little secret. I'm gonna remember this. Uh, Tads and Jean, what are you doing? Tags every morning likes to bake in the morning sun, like, like ha it's like basically having coffee. It's just that routine that Tags needs to do. So, I like to naturally kind of get up before the sun and find a spot that's up high, and Even just perception check. Fifteen. Yeah, you you find a nice little spot right on the side of the temple roof, and you're just like, <sighs> yep. I'm sitting there until I see a gr the group start to start to move. You hear their little conversation down below you. <laughs> And then we'll move on to Jean. Uh, Jean, <clears throat> um, as you're getting up in the morning, um, you also remember that uh, the temple often does provide healing services uh, for the people in the town, of course. Um, so if you want to, you don't have to, uh, there's uh, two uh, greater healing potions uh, in uh, in the, uh, the in, well, actually, probably in your room. You'd probably be saving them in there if you wanted to grab them. Yeah, I'll grab them. Okay, so that brings up the total of three. Awesome. Yeah. So greater, you're 44 yeah, plus four. Yeah, the greater here pushes it. Yeah, I, ha I had a greater last. Oh, okay. I never got to use it, so mm -hmm. this will be three in total. Okay. And uh, would, you, uh, would you have used it in eight months? Oh, true. Okay. All right. I'll just do the two. Yeah. I'll do. I'll do the two. That's fair. All right. And as you're getting ready for the rest of the morning, uh, you also notice that the seal, uh, the one you found last night, it's definitely starting to uh, give that gentle pull north towards the forest. Well, since I've been left alone, I'm gonna go back to the room where I went last night. Probably see the Chaos Aquarium more I just made. Uh, I'm gonna grab a couple of vials and sigh heavily and head downstairs. All right. We'll say that you have enough for four days. Okay. What is going on out here? Oh, um, Grimora got scared of Festerus, and she struck him in her morning uh, stupor. Tags is upstairs, or on your roof right now, sunbathing. Zorpo is looking through her books. And, uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome outside. Welcome. Good morning. 
Now Mara's help me. Okay. You guys want to grab some food before we head out? Uh, did you not already eat? You have a little bit on your, your face there. There's nothing there. What are you talking about? We can ignore it. Sure. Uh, what, what do you guys eat here normally? Cheese broccoli. Cheese broccoli? Bunch of veggies. Alright. Is there anything heartier? Soup, steak, eggs, something? Uh, Jish, you would know that there is the uh, the headless hair. Headless hair, yeah. I was going to uh, There's the, the inn. Hair. Uh, mm -hmm. There's also ZC Cakes uh, Confectionery. Um if you're feeling fancy. You're the headless layer. Headless hair. Is everybody up for breakfast? That's a yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, okay. If uh if a squirrel or a rat happened to go past my sunny spot in the last, you know, hour I've been hanging out here. That was uh, that was lunch for tags. Sure, tags. Quick survival check. Twenty-seven. Yeah. Uh, these squirrels are a little slow. Um, you don't know what's going on. Um, you got one big bushy tail. Bit of fluff hanging out of the side of his mouth there. Good to go. Let's go kill something. All right. Uh, you guys are going to head on your way to the Headless Hare. Um... You can move your minis. I mean, you can move your player character tokens as well. So. Go ahead. Sorry. Ah, the headless hair is um, definitely a step up from the 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 majestic tuck and tum tuck and tumble in, but um, not by much. It is definitely seen better days. Um, Jean, you know the the previous uh, proprietor has uh, left town. Um, he left into the care of some of the people that were working there. You know that um, uh, the twins, Elias and Elizabeth, uh, are now the the owners and runners of the inn. Uh, not not the inn, the uh, the tavern. Um, as you guys step in, um, it's moderately um, filled. There's definitely two or three people sitting at, at tables. Um and uh, there is somebody at the uh, to, to grim surprise. Somebody is at the uh, uh, behind the counter. Is it Elias or Elizabeth? Um, Jugan, do you want to roll for this? High or low? Uh, if you want, but I already know how he would have react if it is him. Okay, say high or low, Jugan. Always high. Go for it. Take, out, take away with Elias. I mean, Tanta said for you not to come back here. Not for me this time. They want to. If I need to hang outside, it's fine. I know you don't approve, but How about Simon... this? I'll let my sister deal with you. Fine. He, tur he turns and goes against his sister. Jean! Hi! I thought you were coming I, in tomorrow. Or was that yesterday? Was, that was... Oh. No, that was supposed to be yesterday. A lot oh. happened. Yeah. How you doing? Um, you know, I had these visions. Um, again, I, um... Mm -hmm. It's it's getting really painful. Um... Oh. Yeah, I saw... Uh, I saw your daughter again. Um, and your grandmother. And... Mm -hmm. They were having a picnic. Um, by the way, you're starting to get, uh, you've gotten to notice um, that Elizabeth is a bit uh, jumbled um, at times. And a lot of the things she doesn't, that she says don't make a lot of sense. 
Um, Mm -hmm. You're going to have to take a couple of her words with a grain of salt. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, you brought your friends. Uh, hi. You must be uh, Grim. Uh, and Not you must. Oh, you will be. Uh, and oh, Fensterance. And oh, I don't know you. Oh, I lost. Where were we? Uh, you just said Grim, Grim and Fensterance. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, hello, I'm Festerus, and did I overhear that you were blessed with some nightmares last night? Oh, always. Festerus. He's very always, into the you say. Death, more so than me. Uh, I Festerus, count yourself lucky. Could you give me a quick uh, insight roll or perception, whichever is higher? Or Arcana, if you really want. Arcana's much higher. Ooh, but we roll just fine with a dirty 20. Sure. Um, you can definitely tell, tell that this, this woman has a lot of magic coming off of her. Um, and with a 20, uh, you can tell that it's definitely divination magic. Sister, well, I... they've been here long enough. Oh, no, we actually need them. Um... They will be needed uh, yesterday. We don't for... need to be kind here. We talked about this. Um, they're really important. All of them. These are the ones I told you about tomorrow. And um, I had more dreams about them again. And I'll have more dreams about them again tomorrow as well. It's probably and because it's... of her. Well, of course it's about her. No, because of her. Why you were like this? Because of It's fine, blaming it's fine, me. it's fine. Oh, okay. I see. Blaming me, of course, as always. Are you blaming Simon too? You made him what he is now. I didn't make him. Is your it was <laughs> your idea. It's your thought. You didn't think once but other than yourself. I want you to leave now. No, stop, stop, stop. No, no, she can stay. Fine, I would leave. And he walks out the back door and you hear the back door slam. It's, I'm sorry about him. He'll be like that for another couple of days. Or longer. Yeah. You know how he is now. Yeah. Um. Hi, Tags. You have to make sure you take care of them. Can I get you something? Uh, you just need some food and... Coffee. Okay. I don't think that's a good idea for him, but okay. Uh, she's gonna step back, um, and head into the kitchen. Um, if you guys would like to chat about anything, go ahead. Yeah, Jean, um, what did you turn Simon into? I didn't turn him into anything. He made his own choice. Just All like right, I so, made my own choice. So why? What did you do to Simon that made that bartender uh, a little different than how normally I would like? If I got greeted, if I went into a tavern where I live normally, it's usually jovial. Um, this, what, what is going on? He's mad about the decision we made eight months ago. He blames me for it when it was all of us together, the ones who left to help save the city last time, the town last time. But I'm to blame because I'm the one who stayed. Mm. And I got used to it, but sometimes his jabs are a little too harsh and... And this <sighs> Simon guy, where mm -hmm. is he now? He went south. He's... Nope. You went to East Haven, remember? Yeah, East Haven Port. Yeah, that's south of Yale Java, isn't it? Where's that north? That's north. North, like the north. Uh, north. Kind of okay, east. sorry, north. Sorry. <sighs> Brains turn around. North, sorry. He went northeast to. He may have east had to Haven go Port. south first to get there. Yeah. But yeah. He went south first to get to East Haven Port, but yeah. Okay. I take it they were close? 
well, yeah, he kind of brought them in here. This was his tavern until he left. I don't know, you don't seem to have the best reputation here. I'm not, I'm not sure why you stay. Originally, before... eight months ago, yeah. Everything was fine, but... Hmm. Headless horsemen, giants, <gasps> spiders, undead, werewolves. It was a lot. You know, there's a place where... You don't no, really I am not going to Temple Irene. You can stop asking about me. I'm saying that. you have to go to the Temple of Irene. The Red Dragon Island is pretty good this time of year, and most of the townspeople won't hate you. Oh, well, you know. You don't have to run. Um, there's a really nice place with pews in it, uh, in case you feel homesick that you can go sit. No. Nope. And then outside of that, um. The general people are pretty nice. Food for thought. Mm hmm This is home. And this needs to be protected. Home's where the so. heart is, Gene. You don't have to tie it down. You can move it. True. But I was born and raised here. Someone's got to protect this place. If that one's gone, who's going to protect it? Oh, definitely the mean townspeople, Gene. Like, they mm -hmm. can chase off anything. I think you'll be all right. That's what you think. And about this time, Elizabeth does come back, and she's carrying uh, two trays of food, and they seem to have pretty much exactly what you would have ordered had she asked you what you wanted. So there's coffee for tags, there's some really great meat for Grimora, um, and what anybody else would like is also on that uh, those butters. Dean, there's nothing for you. Yep. That's fine. How about it, guys? Just like Mother used to make. Elizabeth. Uh, uh, y yes. 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 How did you know our names? Oh, I, I saw you. We talked uh, tomorrow um, about uh, all, all sorts of things. Um, or was it a week from now? I can't remember. I'm sorry. We're talking now. Um... Yeah. So you say we talk in the future as well. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, it happened before, and it it's happening again. Are these, done visions, with these are visions you're getting? Yes. Do they always is there come six true? of us or seven? Uh, there is exactly serious. six of you. When we talk next week, is there less of us? Hey, don't, don't. Don't ask questions. I, I don't want to know. Uh, I learned the hard way on that one. Elizabeth, it don't have breathe. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, then Elizabeth, here. A... Oh, go ahead, Zorba. Sorry. Yeah. Um, have you experienced something extraordinary lately? Yeah. Yes. Um. Uh. There. There was. Um. Well, there's going to be. Um. There's the. Uh, all of the werewolves, all of the 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 undead. There's the uh, reclaiming of a book that happened a few years ago. There's um, oh, there's there's so much going on. I can't keep track. Okay, okay, oh. breathe, calm down. You know, when you get upset, it makes everything worse. Calm. It's it's uh... wild question. Um, has Elizabeth Elizabeth, have you seen a book? Uh, next week, this week, or yesterday, anytime soon? Oh, I've seen many books. Okay. Um, Jean, can you show her the sigil? Did the book have uh, the symbol thing that Jean has yes. on her? Yeah, yes, that one, yes. Where yes. did you see that? Uh, it's, um, it's, it's in a temple, um, but a really uh, over overgrown temple. Um, I also saw it on a boat. And um, I saw it inside of a stone pyramid, and it was oh, um, and it was oh, it was on another boat again. Yeah. 
bit all over the place. Um, oh, uh, calm. Yeah. Okay. The stone, uh, the temple thing that you said, uh, you mentioned. What was what was around it? Trees, desert, rock, blood. Be... Blood. Okay, that'll do it. Well, uh, that's all I got. Start? Yep. Don't push her too much. Otherwise, yeah, no, that was my last question. Okay. I what have was... a history question, not a future question. I like history. My colleague Zorpo here is a little more well-read than I am, but that does not mean that I have not read a few books in my day, particularly about this particular place. Are there any surviving members of the Tepes family here? Uh, here? Um, uh, Jukin, you might have to help me with this one. Um, uh, the, the family is still here, the mom and the kids. But... Uh, they're... Uh, oh, they're all marching together. Um, uh, there's many? Is that the right answer? Yes, yes, Elizabeth, it's, that's the right answer. Not right. There are some still here. Uh, Jean, you would know that uh, the wife of Edmund took mm -hmm. over leadership, so... And the Lord two Lord, oldest children. Lordship. Yep. Yeah. Lordship, yep. Oh my god, I forgot her name. What was her name? I forgot it too. But with well, that being said, Amber. Amber. Nope. It's not Amber. No, no that was T Cat's character. That was T Cat's oh, character. You're right. You're right. No. You're right. Juliana was the, the, the little one. Julie, yeah. What was the name of, of Elizabeth's brother that stormed out? Elias. 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 I'm going to go looking for Elias for a moment. Um, okay. Tags will follow. Uh, uh, how, how does he seem when I find him? Is he still is he still steamed up? He's in the back. Probably has like one of these. Uh, I'm immediately going to start with hypnotic gaze. So he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. I didn't bring any of my dice in here. Oh. <laughs> That's what you He get. wasn't ready. Uh, well, when I, you do crazy things. Yeah, he thought we'd be on the road in the first 10 minutes tonight, and we're still eating breakfast. Uh, <laughs> 14? That's a fail. So uh, he is charmed by me until the end of my next turn, um, and I can keep this up. Uh, hold on, I was, ju I was just triple checking what it says about this. Uh... On subsequent turns, you can use your action to maintain this effect, extending its duration until the end of your next turn. However, if I move more than five feet away, um, or if it can neither hear nor see me, or if he takes damage, it ends. So what does so, it do? Just follows uh, your commands? He, he, is, he, is, he is charmed by me. Um, his speed is zero. And uh, he is incapacitated and visibly dazed. For how long? Uh, as long as I maintain concentration, I guess. She... Or until he fails a until he fails a wisdom save each turn. Oh, so it's continuous. There's not like a max, like a minute or ten minutes or anything like that. It just it just says one action. There should be a casting time or something on it. No, it's a feature. It's oh. a it's an enchantment wizard feature, so I can only do this once per long rest. Okay. And he for every six seconds he's gotta to try to keep it. Yes. Well his next roll was a twenty-eight. No. The first one I'll roll really low. The first one will high. So for the first six seconds, what are you doing for the first six seconds? 
you need to be a little nicer to your sister. See, as you... I, I, I happen to know that divination wizards... When they experience something epic, they might go a little cuckoo. But I guess that'll be the first six seconds. Uh, I was, I was going to say also that pretty much immediately when that happens, Tags is going to pat him down as if it was perfectly planned. <laughs> so we're gonna tag team him. <laughs> I'm just gonna just see what uh, Zerpo you pays no mind whatsoever. You find strapped on his back. The biggest thing that is more important is this massive, heavy crossbow on his back, and um, and slung on his back is this long brim hat. Uh, you can tell that. Uh, uh, Gene would know that uh, he was a student of Simon, so he's following in Simon's footsteps. And, uh, what the fuck? I am always nice to my sister. Why, why do you need to cast spells? I mean, I don't know who you are. Do you want to die? No, I was trying to just calm you the fuck down. Um, you made you me drop my little... cigarette. You got another cigarette. Haha, <laughs> Tags is gonna. Hold I'm going to mage hand the cigarette and use prestidigitation to light it. Tags is going to also, as another option, hold up his bottle of smoke in case he wants to just try that instead. <laughs> my sister. I, I love my sister. Well, they, they may experience many visions. They tend to lose track of when in history they are mixing up a possible past, present, and f futures and such. It's It can be very confusing for them, so maybe a little more patience. You do not know what she has done to my sister. She is the cause of it. But I love my sister. I would always be there for my sister. We look alike. Can't you tell we're twins? That's kind of weird, but okay. Yeah, weird. You're a little reptile thingy that I've never seen before. In these yes, parts. and I'm probably smarter than you, though. <laughs> and I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this crossbow has killed many undead fiends and all this kind of stuff. So, and there's fair share of werewolves. I can always add it. You, you're, going to, you're going to kill me just for telling you to be nice. You just use magic on me with unwanted magic. You need to calm down. Most people who are in... I am calm! And she turns to walk away. <laughs> you get the feeling... Turn to Tags and... Tags is gonna, Tags is gonna trip him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why is this pick on Elias Day? Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. I was mean to Gene. Uh, I got a 16 for debt save. What would that? What would Maybe that be? Maybe an athletics check. Athletics or acrobatics, yeah. Or acrobatics, whatever your choice is. 19. All right, you trip him and he catches. Nah, he just keeps on storming off because he didn't want to cause a scene. Oomph. What'd you find? Yeah, what did I find? Uh, you're t patting him down. You find... Uh, you get a plus two dagger. It's probably in that six seconds you had a chance to get allow you to have a plus two dagger. <laughs> well and, done. And, well and done. Engraved in the hilt, you see the these eyes carved into the hilt, like these like pointy eyes, like a werewolf eyes. That's all you see is engraved, like 
eyes, but not the actual werewolf head. But just picture a werewolf and their pointy eyes, red eyes, whatever, but that's engraved. Mm-hmm. Okay. But with that, we'll go ahead and take this time and take our break because somebody mentioned coffee. I really want some now. So oh, great idea. Everybody will take a, uh, a small tenor and uh, we'll go grab some stats, drinks, use the bathroom if you like. Uh, don't forget to enter in the giveaway. It's exclamation point ticket. Enter the giveaway. It's for Loot Studios pack of your choice. I will just need your uh, email address and then I can get you the pack to you. Uh, that being said, uh, see you in a bit. Back at 55. Welcome back. Uh, there's anything else you want to wrap up at the hair before we move along? Uh, Elizabeth. <clears throat> yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Can you try to get Elias to not be so harsh with me? I know it's going to be difficult for a while. He blames me for everything, but we all made our choices. I promise you, he will do it yesterday. He will be nicer. We'll see, but I understand his animosity, but sometimes his words sting a bit. We all made our choices. Yeah. I- he, he blames you for what happened to the, the town. It's not it's not about me. Um, he also misses Simon. I can understand that. I miss Mayar. I understand that. More than he knows. But he won't see it eye to eye with me for a while. I can already tell you that. Oh, um, Jean. Um, mm-hmm. And she leans in. She's going to whisper. Um, so... If you guys want, you can roll a, 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 a perception check. But she's going to say, um, Jean, mm-hmm. you, you have to make sure that you... And you can tell that she's like really concentrating on being present in the moment. Mm-hmm. You need to get the book. Um, and anybody needs to get the book. You can't let them have it. These people can have it, but you can't let them have it. You know, do you know that? Like, the, yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't let the undead have the book. I promise. Okay. Okay. When's she gonna wander <sighs> off? Uh, anybody who managed to get a fifteen or higher heard yeah. that. Speaking of the book, and as we're about to depart on our journey, Jean, you still don't seem to be absolutely trusting of our companionship given what Grimora has said, that we've saved your skin a few times. I put before the group that we should probably ask someone else to carry the disc. I don't know that I don't trust Jean to walk us into an ambush. Ooh, well, I'll have an ambush the tags, because Tags will lose it. I'll take it. Another squish. Then I propose another option. I have... I could let my brother carry it for us. No. (sighs) Don't trust me. I don't trust you. It's a bit hard to trust people who come into town and threaten you almost immediately, try to convert you to their god, play with their dead, like their toys. I- am I missing anything here? Uh, saved your life, uh, helped you bury your friends, kept watch over you at night so you'd be safe, uh, escort you that to figure room. out why you're being chased by the dead. Just those four points, and then outside of that, no, you're pretty good, yeah, that, that should mm-hmm. sum it up. I kind of gave you the chance to talk to your friends afterwards. How's this? We we have tags, remember, a random number, and then we all say a number, and then he'll forget, and then whoever gets it. 
makanya nya <clears throat> Tags, you got a random number? One through six tags. That's all your fingers plus another one. On one hand. Four. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't the right one to ask. All right, Zorpo knows how to count, so yes. Maybe Zorpo. So one through six. Right. Can we roll it? I guess then. What's wrong right. with four? Tags. We were trying to ask you to to hold the the number we have to guess. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, Zorpo, just DM, uh, I guess, one of the DMs, the actual number, and then we'll all throw it in there. Yeah, we'll just number you guys uh, off according to how you're on the screen. So it'll be Tags is one, uh, Grim is two, Gene is three, Zorpo is four, Shaktor, uh, Shakta is five, Vestris is six. <clears throat> uh, Jukin, you want to roll? What am I rolling? Just a 1d6. Five. Uh, the book is going to Shakta. Or the you the mean emblem. the sigil? Oh, this is yeah, yeah. Fine, Perfect. I'll give it to Shakta. I will take it and I will place it in my bag of holding. You're gonna want that out. May I do one thing before you store it away? Can I take a rubbing? Zorba, you're gonna have to elaborate. I hold up a piece of paper and a and a piece of uh, charcoal and it's like, just uh, it's kind of like like an embossing of the surface. Shaka, you're gonna want that out too. So I reach it, grab it, hand it to Zorbo to commit to her rubbing. All right, and I will take a I will make a copy of the the sigil in my for my book. Uh, Just in case someone gets cursed, we've got it on record. Uh, I forgot to mention this. Also, for the giveaways, anybody that donates fifty dollars, uh, you get up to four of these fancy pink bracelets and uh, a sticker. If you're outside the United States, I'll send you two stickers from the merch shop because shipping is crazy. So, just wanted to let forgot to throw that out at the beginning of the stream. So, if you want, to, if you donate at least fifty dollars, you get those items from me. <clears throat> also, all all donations get a virtual hug from me. A big warm yes. hug. That's oh. more important. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, that's Shaka, nice. you when definitely I hold the want sigil, that out. Do I feel it? It's definitely pulling. You just feel like this just subtle tug, and it feels like almost like Irene is kind of just like guiding you a little bit towards the north. Hmm. But not, Irene has not, spoken to me, Jane. Not it's totally, to Irene. Onward. So now you're leading the party now, Shakta. Let me append the tabletop. Uh, pin the camera, you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, pin the camera and then change the view to one of them. Uh, a speaker view. There it is. If you, yeah, if you do speaker view, it'll blow it up bigger for you guys. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and fast travel to the forest unless there's any last minute things here. All right. Just like uh, Skyrim, you click the map and then. So unless there's any way you want to talk about getting up there, it's a day's travel to get to the forest. Um, but uh, anything in that day you would like to try to do. Gene? Gamora? Tads? Shata? Zorpo? And Festress. Okay. So it's a very, like, silently maybe meander about gospel gossip girl and stuff like that on the way up to the you know forest and idle chit chat and you arrive on the edge of the forest as you start entering in 
Shabda. You can feel it pulling. I think I would just continue in the uh, the direction it pulls me and just advise uh, accordingly. This is a regular forest, correct? Right? Just trees and whatnot. <clears throat> I wouldn't um, say regular forest. Um, it definitely is. It's not like the swamp where it's like difficult terrain and, and everything is mushy and gross. Um, but there is an ominous feel to this place. Um, as you walk further into the forest, you definitely start to smell um, a metallic tinge to the air. Um, and everything does seem to have a bit of a dry, dry flaky, rusty colored um, dust or, or flaking all over everything. Um, yeah. Uh, not... Jean, mind talking to you for a second? Sure. Uh, what does the local here say about the area that we're in? Well, Should I be concerned was... uh, uh, walking yes, through this yes. forest? Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. It was a peaceful forest at one point, and now we're having issues. What did you guys do? Uh, kind of release the god. On accident. Legend says it used to rain blood here. I sure hope there's showers in the forecast. Released a god on accident. Trip fell, let him out. What, what do you mean? So, we were trying to stop a ritual and one of our party members betrayed us. And because he betrayed us, it started the ritual and completed it and let her free. The forest is no bueno anymore. Should we... Yeah, it's no bueno, but you guys wanted to do this, so we're doing it. Okay, okay. Yeah, Shakta, it is undeniably pulling you towards the center. Well, not really the center, but the north end of the forest. All right. Well, uh, I guess we're going to keep going north. Um, Gene, have you explored this forest thor thoroughly? Like, is there wildlife that still lives here? Should I... Keep an eye out for anything in particular. Did you uh, guys leave anything in here that would uh, concern me? Well, besides the occasional werewolves? Yeah. All right. Just wolves? Werewolves. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, werewolves. Uh, they're can they're I look around for tracks then after she said that? I had help with that as well. You can roll this against check with advantage. Twenty-five. Um, as you're looking for traps, you you find like this eerie red puddle puddle of some sorts. And it's it's kind of weird. Can you roll me a D eight? Can. Just a flat D eight. Or I'm sorry, D ten, not D eight. All right, don't mind that D eight then. Thank God. That was better. Okay. Um, as you're doing this, you look up. Uh, Zolda, you want to take over the narrative for that role? Yeah. Um, can you give me a quick perception check while you're at it? Yeah, yeah. There it is. 14. Uh, 14. Yeah, and then just to, just out of curiosity, are you trying to be quiet while you're tracking, or are you just, like, kind of investigating? I'm just investigating, just calmly. Yeah, you, you suddenly hear, like, a little bit of a... Like a like a sudden ruffle of the of the, uh, of, the, of the leaves on the ground, and you look over, and you kind of see the the appearance of a a small baby deer, a fawn. Um, but as you look a little bit closer, it looks like well, it's not it doesn't have skin. It's just a fawn that's standing by itself in between some trees. And it has these glowing blue eyes, and it kind of just stares at you. 
and it stares for about one, two seconds, and then it just darts off. Jean. Yeah. Um. I know you said this forest is really creepy, really weird. Um, but what does most of the wolves and animals in this forest keep their skin normally? Occasionally. There's been a lot of weird things this is lately. Yeah, because um, while I was looking for tracks uh, for these wolves, noticed that there was baby deer. Looked adorable until um, at a distance. Up mm-hmm. close, though. Mm-hmm. Um, no skin, blue eyes, creepy. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't, wouldn't keep that. we we'll bring that home. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, why is that? Like, what happened to the skin? Well, the forest is kind of cursed. Does it just not die? It's a part of a curse. I don't know exactly what the curse entails. Every so if I animal lose my got skin, sh- will I survive it's, that? We'll see. We'll see. We'll hopefully not see that. G. Well, we're in here, so we have no choice to see. We could always test it now, if you like, Shakta. Well, Festress, hear me out. No. <laughs> Um, you can see just, the first time Gene giggle on that one. Just, uh, I guess everybody keep their eyes out. There's a uh, skinless deer running around, so no hides. So oh, that's not won't the be able only thing. That's not the only thing you'll see. Just give it time. Just yeah, a warning. So Gene, stop keeping these secrets and just tell me what's going on in your spooky haunted forest. Okay, I, did, I haven't seen everything in here. Yeah. But... What keeps you up at night, Gene? About this, a forest. lot, too much, too too little time. Really, Hold- oh, broccoli munchies. Uh, Festress, give me a perception check. And you're using mainly smell on this. I was. That's what I was about to ask: is if the flesh smelt rotten Dirt. or? No. So wherever uh, Shata with your. Uh, clean dice, because you don't shame dice here. Uh, clean 20 that you have. Uh, where Shata was looking at the puddle, it smells delicious. It smells like what you long for. Well, then I'm going to get really close down to the puddle, like on, I would say hands and knees, but almost laying on his stomach. Um, and he's really sniffing and examining the puddle you know inches away from it i'm gonna step in the puddle i'm gonna stand over festerus leaning over him and i'm gonna be like festerus i know it pains me it would pain me to say this but you can't ingest this liquid off the floor festerus you can't well, have to step in it. it we don't know what it is it looks it may look like blood to you festerus it doesn't mean you can put it in your mouth. This force is already creepy. And I don't know what the what the prerequisites to losing all of your skin is, but if drinking this liquid will do it, I think we should hold off. <clears throat> As you're saying this, a cobalt foot splashes down in the puddle where your face is. <clears throat> Unfortunately, a fair amount of this sticky red coagulous liquid splashes up onto your face. It's a very familiar um, experience. I was is there back any up. following sensation, like uh, a burning or anything? Or is it just, nope. by all intents and purposes, puddle water? I wouldn't call it puddle water. Would you like to make an investigation check? Please. 14. Uh, you are experienced enough to know that this is, this is blood. You were just splashed with blood. Would I be experienced enough to know that it was human blood, animal blood? With a 14, I would say it tastes off. But kinda you can't. Kind of gamey. Kind of gamey. You're not sure what it is. Spit that out. Seriously, just lick that off the fuck. Did he lick it? It got splashed into his mouth. No. I I said on his face. And because of his mouth, it's a different story. 
it's kind of par for the course for him. I'm I'm a little used to it Festress, at this point. Don't do it, Festerus. Clean he'll listen up. to Shakta and he'll he'll kind of wipe it off. Um, but but as he's wiping it, of course, uh, as per the other day, he he'll wipe it around his neck, so he'll continue to smell it a little bit as he's getting it off of his money maker. Gene, All right. Festerus smells delicious right now. And as you're having this conversation, could could tags pre hide? Could tags pre hide? I would have seen the the deer and like I'm like sus. So I was wondering if I could kind of vanish first. As you start hearing and you start hearing the cries in the distance, the noise and clouds start covering and it starts raining and it's not rain. It is blood as it starts to rain blood all over you. Pull my, my hood up. Uh, and the ground is starting to be drenched in this red liquid as you're walking through. I would look back to see the look on Festress's face. Festress is dancing, like frolicking. He's got the skull in his hand, <laughs> and he's kind of, you know, doing one of these sounds of music type dances. Um, and then I would like to um, talk to Festress and Cat or Festress Gomez, and uh, cast him. Uh, I'm going to use my magical item, which is a. Gomez and send a game log. There you go. Uh, basically, I get to throw the skull and he becomes a skeleton for one hour at a time. And uh, he'll revert back to the skull after it's completed. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, he's going to. Pull Gomez out and let Gomez enjoy this this fantastic anomaly that we have been deprived of our whole lives. Uh, you see Gomez start mimicking everything Festress is doing. Like a mirror reflection. We're doing yeah. our dances and stuff <laughs> together, but yeah. he's... Uh, is anyone watching Genie particularly because she's gonna be heads back kind of just yeah i'm watching Jean the... for sure you see Jean just kind of lean back and just kind of feeling the blood rain down her face kind of tipping her also her hood back a little bit more so you see more of her black hair and wrangly cur curly just all over the place kind of very messy are you opening your uh mouth in any way Maybe very slightly, if I could do it very subtly, if I can. Not. Okay. You start. Everybody else, you see the eyes roll back and uh, the eyes of Jean roll back and go completely red. Jean, you start seeing visions and you look around. You are in case. You yourself, you look down, you see yourself encased in a tree. You can't move your head. All you can move is your eyes as you look around. And you feel the ever reaching pain of being stuck and stiff in this tree. And you realize as you're looking through, you look down, you can see you immediately start flashing back to eight months ago. And who is in this tree? you hear in your head free me and you come back and you're now you're gonna see her kind of shake and go and you yeah, know drinking. it's a voice and you know it's the voice of shaman drinking psychedelic rainwater will do that to you Gene why are you drinking why are you bathing in this water it gave me a vision it gave you a so if i mm -hmm. stare up into the the water i'm gonna get a vision 
The blood water? You can try, but I don't think it'll work for the same for you. I won't try. Don't worry. There you go. What was your vision? About eight months ago. Is that the same time that the bartender was upset with you about Simon? Before that, yeah. And just Unrelated like that, no? the rain stops. Or the blood rain stops. I could have cursed. Yeah, I would be okay if this whole forest burned down, Gene. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Don't blame me on that one at all. But you really see, like, I understand Fester is dancing in the blood rain. But a member of the church? Explain that one, Gene. Uh, Taz, roll me a d10. You can just see Jean contemplate a lot on whether or not she's going to tell you the truth or kind of keep silent about this. Oh, sorry. Did you say did you say d10? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, which which one is that? Is that the t just, is that the pair of them? The one with the, no, uh, just where I did. Right just above it. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah. I see it. Eight. Okay. Ooh. Uh, now roll a d four. Oh, nice. So we're Seven making the assumption the are excited. two. We're going to make the assumption that you guys are walking through the forest as this is all happening. Uh, Jugit, um, it is going to be sorry, where did I put that? Um, it's going to be actually, you can choose. I don't really care. Oh, I'll go in line. What'd you say, two? Yeah. <laughs> that would be this one. If you look on the VTT, you see this statue. Loading scene. Sick. And imagine Whoa. that. Imagine that water in the in the screen is the blood water. Instead. And this is a fairly massive stone statue that's sticking out of the ground. Um, in its hand, it's holding uh, a trident. Or something similar to a trident. You're not 100 percent sure. How, um, how, fa how far away is it? Do I? I said you you could run up to it. Uh, anybody um, with proficiency is welcome to roll uh, either history or religion. I got an eleven. Eighteen. Anyone else? 21. I don't have proficiency in it. Uh, the 18 and the 21. Um, you guys recognize this as a very gigantic statue. It's the god of oceans, seas, and storms. Odin, at least in his human form. Oh, that's weird that's here. Why is that here? Was it not here when you were here eight months ago, Gene? You a lot changes. That is the god Odin in his human form. In the middle of a blood forest. He's the god of ocean and storms. This is strange. Like I said. Uh, can I try something? Sure. Uh you say it's the, the god of oceans? I'm going to use my alchemy jug and I'm going to say salt water and I'm going to pour it on the statue. Hmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Give magic items, they say. It'd be fun, they say. <laughs> Yeah, as you do this, um, do you have a god 
Do you have? Are you are you a worshiper of any of any particular god? Um. Um. X? I will. It might be. I, it, no, like I wasn't a strong follower of Irene. I kind of came along with with Zorpo, essentially saying that Zorpo was after this thing, and I'm here to to help. So no, not in particular. But I'm I open. Wouldn't... <laughs> this this statue it doesn't it doesn't change it doesn't move the light doesn't change anywhere but you get the feeling that this ominous forbidding statue is smiling down on you and I'm gonna say that tags uh, now has proficiency or actually you know an advantage on all wi uh, all wilderness. Uh, so, yeah. Survival. Survival checks. Uh, if you ever happen to be on the ocean. Maybe it won't help you in this campaign. But... Yeah. That'll help with all the pirate stuff. <laughs> hey. Jean's just gonna kind of, since we got distracted, just gonna keep on. Uh, Jacques, which way we're going? That way. Okay. Hmm. So, why haven't you guys cut down this forest? This doesn't seem natural. It, okay. So, last time we seen people try to cut this forest down, they didn't return. So maybe a little pyromancy might get rid of this? We tried that too. Okay. Because okay. oh, how squishy with the blood rain, it kind of doused everything. And the blood rain's buzzing us, random and sudden. Yeah. Well, let's just get out of here as fast as we, we can and try to avoid any cre uh, creepy surprises. Yeah, good luck with that. It looks like we're going deeper into the forest from the way that your arm is pulling slightly. Mm. So, yeah. Well, I don't want to spend any more time here than I have to. You think any of us do? I think you do. You were really enjoying the rain earlier, for sure. Um, Festress looks like... I feel like he's but probably going to start buying a property in this forest. He might actually become a resident. But outside of that, no. It was a moment's weakness. Uh, what okay. is the marching order? Is it still the same? Uh, I think me and Gene would probably be walking side by side. Except as we're I thought, yeah. Tags is, is as hidden as possible. Give me perception. Give me group perception check. How does one do this? Everybody just roll a perception check. Ah. Uh, 23 for me. Festerus may be off a little bit with Gomez. Solid, Solid 12. Like maybe Solid 12. Away from everybody. Nine. Uh... All right, uh, Jean, Shata, and Grimora. Zorpo. You said you did World of 24, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, Zorpo? I don't even see Zorpo's roll. If for some reason, I can't get right. it to show up in, in above okay. ATT. Like, I can see it. But with Jardio, except for maybe Festress, Festress is more enjoying probably playing with this, uh, little skeleton that he summoned but other people uh you start seeing eyes looking behind and getting ready and you feel like you about to walk into a trap uh, behind each of these trees stop stop everybody stop uh what's going on we're being yeah. followed yep there it looks like you can be ambushed get ready Tags, you have eyes on anything? Do I? Are you scouting? Uh, yeah. I'm watching the horizon. Um, 
you, I mean, you see these guys. They're looking at you, but they think you don't see them. All right, play cool. I'm going to cast uh, Dancing Lights and four torch-sized lights within range, so within 120 feet. I'm just going to let, how many of them do I see? Uh, where are you putting your Dancing Lights? In right in their faces. Oh. Very nice. I'm just going to light them up. So you see dancing light there, dancing light here, dancing light here. As long as they're within 20 feet of each other, we're good. Oh, that's uh, within 20 feet. Of each other. So I, ca I can family. light up, what, three of them? You, can, you have four dancing lights, right? You can some put yes, them but the lights have to stay within twenty feet of each other. Oh. So. so I'm gonna say something like this. Yeah. I would like to cast uh, a mage hand. Um. So you see roughly about six figures, because these two are closer. You can definitely see them by his, uh, his elves, but you see two more behind the other two trees, and. <laughs> And they start diving out to attack you, and I need everybody to roll initiative. Sixteen for Shakta. Thirteen for Zorpo. Eighteen. Alrighty, uh, I need Zorpo's. Uh, what'd you get, Zorpo? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, yours is not popping up in the encounter builder either. Yeah, I, it did this with with Silver's campaign too. It's something mm -hmm. to do with my end of things, and I don't know why. It doesn't matter who I have it set on. It said it sends it as a private thing to me. It whispers to myself. All right. Well, top of the round, Gamora. I'll say they all jumped out now. You see them. What are they? Uh, unless you're actually looking at them, you're going to have to look. So you can decide that on your turn. They're humanoid. Oh. Do that. Gamora, what are you doing? You're muted if you're talking. Not talking. Um, trying to Tad's see where guy. they are on the map versus her dancing lights. Oh. Uh, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, then sits over here. I don't know if you can see him. If I can... Okay, so the sixth one is the one that I wasn't sure if that was her dancing lights or uh, an enemy. I am going to. Rage, and I'm gonna run straight at that one with my axe. Alright. Uh, where are you at? Two. Which one? This one right here? Yes. Alright. Uh, 15. Uh, 15 just hits. Oh, lovely. 15 points for slashing damage. And I'm gonna thwack it again. Is or your, not, because uh... I will miss. It is magical. Okay. Uh, how much was it? Uh, damage? Uh, 15. 15. Got it. And the second one I missed. Okay. Uh, Tad's your, uh, is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Tad's you're up. All right. I would like to, I'd, if I have the movement for it, it's 50 feet. I'd like to wrap around the tree to the north there. Um, 
and kind of come in behind the two close together there. All right. Uh, you with 121, or I'm sorry, with 50 feet, and you have a bonus action to dash. You can definitely get around them. Do I need the bonus action to get there? 50 feet. Well, were you trying to go like right here? Yeah, like back in there. Fifty feet gets you like right there. All right. Um, <clears throat> I will. Do I have the surprise of the sneak attack? Uh, no. Oh, I have. I have the. I have the ambush master that will work yeah. this time, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll. I'll use that. Just have to go to my action. Sorry, I'm not used to this. Okay, I'm using using the short sword. Um, Twenty six to hit. I'm slicing the one that is probably uh, closer to me. That's a little bit further from the group there. Okay. Um, and I'm just looking for that. Is it the is it the sneak attack um, attack option or is the? So you have to hit first, and then sneak attack options under your features, I think. Yes. He did so, hit first. He hit so twenty six to hit. Uh, yeah, 26 hits. Uh, 21 damage. Uh, is your weapon magical in any way? No. Alright, uh, Festress, I added it, so you just have to refresh. Alright, uh, how much damage are you doing? 21. Are you doing it to this one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 21 damage. You got it. Uh, we want to scrap out that that Lutz was you strike into him. Um, I'm just gonna stab him in the side of the head. I'm gonna come out of the bushes and from behind him, and all yeah. rogue and smoky like, just stab him in the face with the two with my daggers. Uh, are they magical in any way, though? No. I did give you a plus two dagger. Don't forget to add that and equip that. So as you do that, you stab into it. You feel like you should have did more damage, but you didn't quite do as much. Okay. Um. Uh, give me a perception better. check, Tads. Eighteen. Uh, as you're trying to stab him in the neck, you can see there's blood running down the sides of the mouths. Okay. Um, I guess I will, uh, I will bonus action draconic cry. That's my turn. All right. Uh, as you're, as this has started, you see it's descending from the sky, flying down, right into middle. Soldi. Oh, this is my guy. Nice. Um, I'm assuming she saw uh, Tag's attack. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, Tags, could you give me a wisdom saving throw, please? Ten. I'm sorry to say this, but you are now charmed. Um, you are not able to attack the creature that just charmed you, which is the big guy in the center there. Um, so specifically, you uh, can't attack the, the, the charmer. Um, you regard him as a friend. And uh, I need you to uh, protect him. 
<clears throat> All right. Now, he didn't tell you to attack your friends, he said, to protect him. Uh, but he's going to run up to you. Uh, do you can, can you put him behind tags for me? Thank you. Uh, tags, you're going to hear him lean into your neck and take a big, deep sniff of you. And he's going to be like, Ah, oh, not, not what I thought I smelled. Where is it? And that's that's his turn. Shata Malor and then Festress, you're on deck. Uh, how far am I from that big dude? How far are you? Yeah. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, about 40 feet. If you pass through the spot where uh, uh, Tad's is. Okay. So, oh wait, Taz is charmed right now. Yes. Okay. And is that a is that a concentration or whatever? Uh, ye hold on, let me double check. Um, no. Okay. So I'd, I'd I would have to pass that that individual take an opportunity attack. Yes. All right, I'm gonna risk it. Then I would run straight up to the. Uh, the bad guy. All right. All right, you get opportunity attack against you. Um, does a 21 hit? It does. All right. Uh, you take seven points of slashing damage. And I need you to make a. Actually, no. Instead of doing damage, he's going to do this. With a hit, as you try to grab, he grab or run by. He grabs you and holds you, and you're now grappled. So, can I? I haven't dealt with conditions in a minute. So, what is that? Disadvantage on tackles against any target other than grappler. Uh, I grapple. guess I'm gonna attack the grappler. Alright. I'm gonna attack him three times. Actions. 15 hit? Uh, 15 just hits. 25 hits. And 20 hits. All right. Remember, you have advantage because of the Draconic Cry. Well, all of them hit, so. You could have got an at 20, though. That's true. 14 damage on the first one. 8 damage on the next one. And then the, next, the last one's a flat D8. So give me a second. A one. So what's the total amount of damage? 23. All right. And that is this one. Oh, oh. As you grab us in, you're just stabbing. You still got a hold of you, though. Mm -hmm. Is that your turn? Yep. Vestris. And well, your brother, deck. someone has disrupted our playtime. Um, what do these do these creatures give off any undead feeling? Do you have like a feature a, to detect that? No, I'm more or less asking on perception level. Uh, what I what would I a, tend to believe perception. they look like? Give me a perception check. Not twenty. Waste oh, nice. Uh, uh, one to the left where Grimora started to go up a fight. As you look towards that scuffle that Grimora has started, you see blood coming down the sides of the mouse. Uh, you get the feeling these might be some type of undead. 
Okay. Um, gonna. But a different type of undead than you're used to. Is he still being grappled, like being held by the. Uh... Yes. Okay. Until Shata Malor chooses to break the grapple, he's gonna stay grappled. Gotcha. Um, well, sorry, Shakta, uh, if this hurts, but uh, I'm going to just cast Chromatic Orb at level two at the one that's grappling him, because I'm assuming if he's able to still use his arms, then he must be like hanging on his back kind of thing. Yep. He kind of like, he kind of grabbed him as he's trying to run by him. It's like, uh, so I'm assuming his back is kind of facing me. 25 to hit on my Chromatic Orb. 25 uh, hits. Deviate, but it'll be fire. Fire damage? 18 damage. Nice. <laughs> you are not. You hear in your, in your ear, Shata. You are not tat, my master. Well, I'm going to touch him. <laughs> Gomez is going to draw his bow and oh, yeah. roll Gomez. an attack for the same one. 17. Uh, 17 hits. 3 plus 2 is 5 non magical. 5, so it doesn't do as much damage. But he does have. <laughs> Your fans are annoying. And I suppose we're going to move like to the center of the road, just like 15 feet forward. And that'll be the end of our turns. You want to go this way or a dash? Yeah, give me, give me one more up towards the middle board. Yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, Zorpo. Was my little... All right, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do something really stupid. Uh, I'm going to uh, fly 30 feet towards the middle of the group and any any of the seven of them within 30 feet of me need to make a wisdom saving throw or be charmed. That'd be me, I take it. No, 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 enemies. Oh, cool, thank god. Where are you going? <laughs> Would th that would be me though too, right? Yeah, because technically you would be an enemy at the moment. Same tag. <laughs> Twenty. Did, did okay. you succeed? You're not charmed by her, but you're still charmed by nah. her. <laughs> you wanted to <laughs> fail that one. <laughs> so if Shakta, yeah, if Shakta is enemy currently, then yes. I'm not. I'm not. Oh. No, but what about the rest of them? What What is the I, DC I, I they're going to make? What's the DC? Eight, wisdom 18. Wisdom 18. Uh, All right. Does this hit my guy? Uh, This hits up to... Yes. This this would hit up to seven people. And what was the DC? Uh, wisdom 18. So... That is a fail, but he is choosing to succeed anyway. All right. Uh, your charm, you're concentrating on it now, right? Uh, yes. So that means I... What was I, concentr what was I concentrating on? Nope, this is my first turn, so... Oddly enough, okay. the one is grappling Shata Malar is now looking up at you. Uh, friends! Uh, Why uh, such squabbles? Your friend is very cute. And the other one down there is looking up at you. Uh, Avenge me! <laughs> Avenge you? And that... Yes, I'm, I'm not commanding, but they're just like, in case I die, avenge me. Okay. So basically, for their turn, they're not doing anything? 
Correct, because they are charmed, but I cannot I cannot command Could them you, to do anything. Got it. All right. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, yes, that's my turn. Is f- how are you flying? Oh, your boots. Your boots. Yes, my winged boots. Because I remember flying is a concentration, as far as I know of. But yeah, you do yes, your boots. Yes, nope. I have the winged boots just for that. I could fly for four hours. Alrighty. Oh, the one in front of Gamora is going to reach N. Mm-hmm. Meet two attacks. Uh, it's going to grab, slice at you, uh, Gamora, for a 24. Hit. As it comes in his slice, it's going to grab you by the shoulder and rock you back come down for a bite because you're now grappled does a 22 hit yes all right you take four piercing damage plus just rolling minimal damage with these uh two necrotic damage and your uh, maximum target maximum hit points is reduced by two. Um, so just temporary is down. All right, all right. That was that. You're now grappled as well. Uh, I'll do that in a second. Uh, Start movement. They have 30 feet. Ooh, yeah. Right up to Festress. Going to make a swipe. Uh, 16 hit you, Festress. Yes. All right. Uh, as it comes in, it grabs you by the neck and yanks you in and starts to come down on your neck. For a 24. You take nine piercing damage plus uh, eight necrotic damage. But I think you're immune to necrotic, right? I'm resistant to necrotic. I'm immune so you to take poison. four. So you take four necrotic damage, and your maximum hit points is reduced by four. My maximum hit points can't be reduced at all. Part, part of one of my traits. Sweet. Well, you don't suffer that effect then. Uh, gotcha. Now, you said 24 right? first. Was the 24 to hit, or was it the 24 the damage? Or, so, or did I just 24 to hit on the bite. Okay, so 13 damage. Gotcha. So uh, their claws is coming in, but instead they're going to grapple instead. So they grappled you after they sort of taking damage from the claw. They used it to grapple you and bring you down to bite your neck. <sighs> for flavor, for funsies, I'm not going to have the charm do anything. Uh... Uh, the one's going to run up and attack Shata Malar. Uh, does a 25 hits, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. He comes in also because you can, as you see, you felt the, the hands release a little bit where you can easily get out. He comes on to grab you, a hold of you and come down for a bite now. Does a, ooh, a natural 20. In those doors, so it's not max damage. I'm not crit damage. Uh, I mean, far, uh, what's, what's the range of that? Uh, well, it is 30 feet. 30 feet? I think so. Am I within 30 feet? No. You're 35 okay. feet away. No, I'm sorry. I tried Jocta. Are you good? Well, it kind of makes sense. You wouldn't care. He's been preaching about this other god, you know. <laughs> uh, that is 11 piercing damage plus twelve. Oh, four sits as oh Jesus mats on the that 
uh, 24 necrotic damage, and your total so, hit points is reduced by 24. So what's that total? Uh, 24 on the necrotic, and then I forgot, uh, that was uh, 8 piercing damage on the, on the initial one. Uh, 32. Alrighty, and uh, the other one's not gonna go. That is all their moves. He does everybody. No, it's not. I got one more. This one's gonna come in and do the same to you, Shata. You're right there. Uh, the a twenty-one hit. It does. Okay. Uh, this one is just going to be a claw attack on you. Because you already grappled. It be pointless to keep doing it. That is nine points of slashing damage. Then he's going to also come in for a bite. Ooh, the bite might not hit. Uh, 17? No. 17 does not hit you. As you slices up and you're kind of trying to, like, inherently trying to dodge it. And he just misses the bite. And then that is all of them. So, all right, sweet. Got through all those. That's a lot of people. Gene, you're up. And then we'd be back top of the round with Gamora. So, Gamora, you're on deck. All right, I'm going to move towards uh, the one attacking Festress. Okay. And swing with my Lightbringer. It is undead, so you get to add your extra stuff. Uh, 21 uh, definitely 22. hits. Yeah, okay. It because uh, it hits advantage, so we're trying to see which one. 22, okay. 10, hold on, and plus B. Come on, where is it? Two. Uh, so 14. And then I'm going to cast my spiritual weapon at fourth level. And have it hit the one that's attacking Grimora. Okay. It does a 22 hit? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they will take 13 damage. Nice. As you come up and cast a spiritual weapon and simultaneously hitting. Is that your turn? Uh, it's my turn. All right, top of the round, Grimora. And then Tad, you're on deck. I don't know what the devil's going on. This thing's just holding on to me. What the fuck's your problem? I'm going to swing at it. Okay. Do I have disadvantage when they're grappling me? Uh, the fets of grapple. I think you should. Even if you do, you've still got the Draconic Roar. Oh, that's right. Well, yeah, that would... Well... If, grapp if attacks against the person grappling, do not count as a disadvantage, no. Okay. Yeah, a grapple, a creature becomes zero, can benefit the bonus of speed, condition ends. So, yeah, it's just holding you, so... Alright. Yeah, you see well, speed is zero. For a sense of power. How dare you touch me! Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, 17 does hit. Uh, 16 points of slashing, magical slashing. Got it. And, uh, 30, 20. Dirty 20? Yes, a dirty 20. For 13 more slashing. You got it. Just slashing away at this damn thing. Nice. Are you raging? You're still not raging, are you? Yeah. No, she raged on the first, first turn. turn. I did not hear you say rage. My bad. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, I will, uh, bonus action, um... Draconic cry this time, because I'm really pissed off. 
I'm not going to roleplay that. I'll break the mic. Okay. So now when his Draconic Cry ends on his turn, mine will keep up until my turn. My Draconic Cry is not going to work for tags now, though, because he counts as an enemy. Yeah, by sorcery, his is not working for you now either. <laughs> Pretty sure. Well, when he, well, when he yelled it, we were still allies. <laughs> that, yeah, that first one's done. Okay. Yeah, the first one went to the allies, and then yeah. I was switched over afterwards. Yeah. All right. Tags. Uh, tags. Uh, before you start your turn, uh, the guy behind you that was sniffing at your neck is going to point and say bring me a sample of that other one's blood the, the little one and it's going to point right at Grimora all right <clears throat> i am going to hear Grimora's cry and lock eyes with grim and Mimic her cry. And I'm going to Draconic cry again. And <laughs> I'm going to pop smoke. And I'm going to Draconic cry as the smoke starts to billow out into the surrounding area. And uh, do you uh, did you want uh, the info for that? I'm trying to find that item. About how how much smoke. Well, first off, are you moving towards Grimora, right? Um, yeah, yeah, I w I will, but um, with within the cloud. Where where is Grim? All the way I on can't, the other side. I can't tell who's who. Okay. All right. Am I triggering um, um, reactions, or are those all friendlies? You will get an opportunity attack from. Shata, if he chooses to take it, and I don't. Depend, all right, and then you that'd be all if depending on how you run, you can easily walk away from um, oh, from um, Jean to get to her, which are a ridiculous amount of movement. Um. I, I, I probably wouldn't have gone all the way there because I don't have an, an action to do it this turn, but on my next turn, I'm, uh, I think I'm going to, I'm going to stay within the smoke for the, for the, cause I use both, I use my actions and everything. Again, so. smoke mm -hmm. still, even though you have it, it still takes a minute to get out and don't just, it's not like an instantaneous smoke. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so it, it comes out, but it. It is as you're moving, you still leave like a small jet strail behind you. So all right, you all right. So it's like following me around. All right, I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll go. I'll go kind of right, right beneath the uh, right beneath Zorpo there. Like yeah, right there. Okay. That's a good spot there. All righty. Soldi. Uh, Zorpo, can you please give me a wisdom saving throw? You're muted on Zoom. I was just saying, this is a just straight up wisdom saving throw. This isn't to maintain concentration, correct? Nope. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no, that's a net one. Ah, um, at this moment, you are now a badger. And you are a badger that is falling through the sky, oh, through the, through the air to the ground. You're 20 feet up? Yeah. Uh, can you please take 2d6 points of bludgeoning damage as you hit the ground? Uh, badgers have a maximum HP of five. Uh, that was five. You are no longer a badger. So I, <laughs> I am now a, a prone Zorpo. Uh, because you were a badger, you lost the concentration on the on the spell. Um, okay, so they are no longer charmed. Yeah. Um, and then my guy is gonna walk right up to your uh, non badger form on the ground. Okay. And he is Passing just me. he is completely casually passing by everyone. 
If you would like to take an opportunity attack, you are welcome to. I would. Uh, but he is doing so nonchalantly. You have advantage. Cast me as well. So if I have advantage, but disadvantage from grapple, that just that's just flat. Yes. Cool. Okay, and I can cast a spell. Uh, sorry, can, uh, let's resolve this one at a time. Uh, Shakta? 22 hit. Uh, yes, it does. And does your attack have any special features? So plus no. one longsword. Yeah, just plus one longsword. Okay. Uh, Jugen, are you tracking health for this? Yeah. How much does he take? 12. Uh, 12. Uh, Zorpa, what were you saying? Uh, I can cast a spell that costs an action because I have Warcaster mm -hmm. as, uh, as an opportunity attack. So I'm going to cast uh, Mind Sliver. So he needs to make an uh, 18 DC intelligence check. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait where, where is he walking in Zoldi? He's walking right up to her. So he enters her area. So she does get it. I believe she gets an opportunity to attack. Yeah. No, no, no. That's Sentinel you're thinking about. Yeah, it's it's when he leaves. He actually hasn't left you yet. He walks to you. Ah, uh, OK. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he is going to lean like down. And he's going to take a big sniff of your blood as well. And he's going to be like, it's not you either. Where are you? I can smell you. Um, and now he's going to walk past you. So now you can take your reaction. Okay. So he's going to go another five feet, I think, is what he can do. Okay, Which so way? yeah, mind, mind sliver, mind. so in 18. Uh, yeah, let me roll that. That was a 19 plus, well, he passed. Okay. Then what nothing the happens. List? Okay. All right. Um, I tried. A, a 24, by the way. Oof. Uh, Shata. I uh, would try to break out of, use my action to try to get out of this grapple. All right. Roll an athletics check. 12. 12 does not succeed as you're trying to get it. The other one coming in, just kind of hold on to it. As the other one's, as the charm fades, he's like, Ugh, no. Ugh. So they both are now holding you down. I want to add that he did recap. He might have an inspiration. I don't. Uh, he should have an inspiration from the uh, rewards that he never used. You do, yeah, you do. Uh, they only who's the only one person who used mine was. And only G. one person has used mine. Which one would uh, was it? Which one y'all? Mine, mine is reroll yourself, and as old you can reroll okay. somebody else, uh, the enemies. So keep that in mind. And, you guys yeah, still have I that. Like to, I would yeah. like to reroll that. That was that was yours. Yeah, so you reminish yeah. mine. Does 19 get that. me out? Yeah, 19, you get you out of here. As the other one's just like, oh, no, he's trying to re-grab you, and you bust out of it. Okay. You're and no then, longer grappled. But that is an action to do so, though. Yes. As a bonus action, I would like to second wind. Ooh, second wind, get some health back. Yeah, 16 points of health. Mm-hmm. One second. And then I would like to move towards the bad guy and cut him off. Which bad guy? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, you got two opportunity attacks from the other ones, though. I do though. not, because tactical shift with second wind. Whenever I activate second wind as with bonus action, you can move up to half your movement speed without provoking opportunity attacks. Oh, half your movement speed. What's your movement speed? Uh, 30, so 15. 5, 10, 15. Okay. So you right quite there. cut him off, but you get like almost matching pace with him. Cool, 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 cool. That's the end of my turn. All right. Festress and Zorpro, you on deck. <clears throat> um, I'm going to step 10 feet north. Uh, probably provokes opportunity attack from the one that's uh, nearest me. Oh, no, you're grappled. No, you're still grappled. Oh, I'm grappled? I didn't yeah, know, so I he grappled too. Yeah. Okay. 
<clears throat> uh, well then, boy. Um, okay, I am going to touch my own wrist and use feign death. Okay, what does that do? Uh, touching a willing creature puts it into a cataleptic state that is indistinguishable from death, death for the spell's duration or, or until you use an action to dismiss it the target appears to be dead to all outward inspection and spells used to determine the target's status if he's blinded or incapacitated oh the target is blinded and incapacitated and its speed drops to zero and has resistance to all damage except psychic Okay. That's that was not, the wrong person. That's not a concentration check, is it? Uh, no, I don't believe so, but I will, I just closed it out. Let me double check again. Okay. Nope. All right. Is that your turn? Um, yeah, that's his. He's going to fall limp, um, and then Gomez is going to attack the uh, the one that was right next, that that was just holding him. Uh, this time using his sword, though. Six to hit. Uh, six misses. It's my turn. All right. All righty. Alrighty, uh, Zorpo, what are you doing? Alright, I am going to get up from prone. Fly 20 feet straight up. Do I provoke any attacks of opportunity? For standing straight up? No. No, flying straight up. Uh, oh, you it's... might take one from Tags. Okay. Yeah, probably would. Come at me, Tags. Yeah, it's rolling it uh rolling attack on uh Zerpo. Do I get uh advantage with my own draconic cry from earlier? Uh I actually don't know if that happens. I think so. Like it's not yeah. it's not back on my turn. Yeah, take it with advantage. Alright. If not, it's canon now. We're changing the rules. Let's <laughs> go with it. If not, the right. situation makes makes sense. <laughs> oh, uh, that was uh, oh, oh, a natural twenty. Natural twenty. <laughs> oh my gosh! Roll that. Sentinels. Now I'm gonna sentinels because he's within thirty feet. Okay, sentinel so it's not. Four. So it's just regular it's damage. Crit. It's, it's regular damage, it's not... no crit. Sorry. Sorry. All right, ten damage. Tim piercing I'll damage. I'll take it. Uh, and as I do, I'm going to... Actually, you, you also have sneak attack damage because you have not used it this turn, and that was advantage. Oh, yeah. Oh. You had advantage okay. on that. So do you want me to not do that 10? So Just roll ignore another. that 10. Do it. 32. <laughs> All right. All right. You asked for it, Tags. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this will, if you hit him, you will, you will knock him out of the charmed condition. So just, it's not, it's not a bad thing to hurt him. Yeah. 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 Make a con saving throw, my dude. Oh, 22. Okay, oh. you take half of... 37. If we don't need to fight them, Jigen, they fight themselves. 18. <laughs> <laughs> so, what so, is half of 32? That is 20... No. Half of 37. 19. 37? 19. Oh, 19. 19. 19, 19. sorry. Mathing is yeah, hard. so you take nine, uh, 19 thunder damage as I cast Shatter in your face again. 
<laughs> does a charm uh does charm charm uh, is off okay charm is off so right. i'm now flying above 20 feet above your head and i just cast shatter in your face oh, again <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna hate me forever <laughs> Zorpo, were you flying that whole time? Uh, I had gotten knocked prone. I stood up, used the oh, other half of my okay. movement to fly up. Never mind. So I would have been 15 feet up, not 20. Okay. Because <laughs> my movement is 30. Oh, so you're 15 feet? That's right. 15 okay. feet. Okay. You're now All 15 right. feet. Well, All that's right. my turn. The three run up on to Shata Malor. Um, they get yeah. my Draconic Cry uh, advantage. Okay. That was still the same. Okay. I'm assuming a 22 hits. Yep. What about a 20? And meets it. All right. So they all attack you. One is going to grapple you. So you're now grappled again. Uh, and then you're going to take the damage from. Oh, come on. Where is my. Come on. There we go. You're going to take the damage from. Oh, that's not. I need these. Take. Uh, that is. Uh, 12 on the first attack of slashing damage. Uh, then 8 on the second attack of slashing damage. And then both of them are going to come in for a bite. They're all three going to come in for a bite. Uh, just to see if any of them hit crits. No. Nope. Closest one was a 19, so all the all the bites uh, hit you. So I can just roll them all at once. This one, two, three. Uh, that is 13. And 22 piercing damage from the bites. And then four necrotic damage, uh, and that re reduces your hit points by four. Second bite from necrotic is five necrotic, and that also reduces by five. And the third one is 11 necrotic, and that also reduces to. What's the total on that? 20. For all narcotics? Yeah. Yeah. 11, 5, 4. And so is it 42 plus the 20? 22 plus 20. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, the one in front, since you're already grappled, is going to make a slice on you. Um, Festress. A natural 20. So, this is, why are D4 so hard to pick up? Jesus. So, eight slashing damage on the first attack, Festress. And then, uh, five piercing damage plus seven necrotic damage. All right, uh, that was that one. And then Grimora, these two are gonna come at you. Uh, 
One's a natural one. Thankfully for the advantage. Uh, 18. Both Jason 18s. 18s both hit. All right. Uh, first slashing damage is eight. No. Yeah, eight, point, eight slashing damage. Second attack. And the other one is five slash. No, six slashing damage. And then the bite as they come in. I'm going to try to bite you. Ooh, that one. So you got to make better on this. Ooh, nope. The bite. Both bites miss. Do not. They do not get the bites in. And that is their turn. That is all of them. Bombing around. It, unless uh, there is any legendary actions that need to be had. Is there Isolde? Um, I know. Yeah, I just take a fun. Uh, no, wait. Does. Yeah, take a fun swipe at tags. Uh, let's go ahead and see if this hits. That's the 16 plus 9 is 25. Does 25 hit? <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, you are going to take uh, a bit of damage. That is going to be 9 Ooh. points of slashing damage plus 13 necrotic damage. Could I... Uh, would you have disadvantage on that because of I just want to remind you guys about the smoke there would be like some billowing smoke come out of my area but I'm not sure uh, well you would have given me advantage already so if you had disadvantage it would have uh, cancelled out so. okay alright so what am I taking uh, what did I say 9 slashing damage and 13 necrotic damage All right. And now, Jean. Uh, I'm going to mass healing, uh, cure wounds at sixth level. So everyone within 30 feet, so six people up to my, uh, um, that I pick, which is basically everybody, can get 15 uh, health back. Yeah. Uh, Zorpo is barely in range for that. <laughs> Okay. Is she in range still, though? Yeah, she's still in range. She's okay. just barely okay. in range. Okay. If she flew up a little bit higher, she would have been out of range. <laughs> I don't think she didn't. Can okay. I ask a question that my team mm -hmm. might hate me for? Was I supposed to be reducing my maximum hit points on those last attacks, the same as everyone no, else? No, no, no. Your maximum hit points for necrotic damage. The claws are fine. Okay. You, it's, the, it's the bites you're reducing that on. But both bites missed you last round, so you're good. But the first one, yes. Oh, that, whatever round it was ago. For my bonus action, I'm going to swing with my uh, spiritual weapon. Um, okay. The one I was attacking before, and I know it has advantage because of the cry. If I get 20, oh, ooh, 19. What? Why would your spiritual weapon have advantage? Oh, never mind. Sorry. Then it's a it sentient be... weapon. <laughs> not a sentient weapon, but it's a. It's not a. It's just a weapon. Okay, fourteen. Fourteen misses. That's it. All right. Top of the round, Grimora. Sorry. I was fixing my hit points. Okay, um, I'm gonna attack the guy that's still on me. I don't do with the attacks. You, you didn't even ask for permission. Um, the advantage is gone. Start of my turn, so I will reckless attack. Reckless attack. Which one you reckless attack? You got two. The one that's on me. Okay, the one that's grappling you. Got it. Yeah. Ooh, uh, twenty-eight hits. Twenty-eight. To, with a one on the damage, so oh god, <laughs> eight, uh, eight points total. Great. Nice. As you crack it open, like this gooey blood starts dropping down the side of his head. I'm covered in enough of that already from the rain. 
Not your head, hits head. I okay. Twenty six to hit second time. Yeah, twenty six hits. I cannot roll for shit on damage. Um, nine Eight. slashing. Oh, nine. nine. Ooh, nice. As you clock it in inside the head as well. <laughs> Since you didn't use your action to try to break free of it, you're still grappled, so... Yeah, there's no point in breaking free. Where would I go? I'm surrounded. Yeah. Uh, is that your turn? That is my turn. Ted, as you no longer feel the charm effect, you get to <laughs> realization... I am frustrated. <laughs> I am going to draconic. Well, okay. So I was going to ask: Do I get advantage because of the of Shakta's placement uh, on the other side of him? No, we do if, not if do I flanking. Were... No flank. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I will. Have... I don't know. Do you guys have pat tattoos? No. No. That's been replaced with draconic cry. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so I will draconic cry for the third time this round and this time it's going to the good guys how many times can you do that um five per long quite, rest quite Jeez. a bit and you got a lot of us here yeah well um that's fine <laughs> Y'all go and then i'm i'm gonna jump at this guy and start slashing him and i get my advantage attack so let's uh, that wasn't with an advantage, but that was a 29. Nice. Oh, that one? That will hit. Twenty-two damage. Also hits. Oh, well, why, okay. why? Why would you have sneak attack damage? Oh yeah, you gave yourself well, advantage. Well, Never mind. I, yeah, you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Never mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm tripping. Never mind. So twenty-two total damage. Yeah. Uh, and none of them was magical though, right? Yeah. Nope. All right, let me... Attacks, I want you to understand, he doesn't even flinch. Huh. Huh. Okay. Anything else you're doing on your turn? Well, I, I use my bonus and my action, so I'm. I think oh, that's okay, it. Yeah. Uh, that puts me up next, right, Chicken? Yes. Uh, this guy is gonna turn to Shakta. He is grappled, correct? Uh, Shakta is grappled, yes. Yeah, so my guy is gonna go over and bite him on whatever body part is uh, first exposed. Um, so I believe I have to do an attack for that. That will be a 23. Uh, I actually have no idea what your AC is. Uh, does that hit? His AC is yep. 20. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you're going to take four, that's nine uh, piercing uh, plus, well, that's pretty low. Eight necrotic damage. Um, and your hit point maximum is reduced by an amount equal to the necrotic damage, so you lose nine HP, maximum HP as well. Um, and it's gonna look at you as like, ah, your blood tastes interesting. Old, powerful, but not what I'm looking for. Uh, and then he's gonna look over, and he sees you, Gene, uh, and he's like, I smell it on you. I smell her blood. Where? Where is Amber? Uh, and then he's going to attack 
Um, with uh, just a regular attack, that's a 14 plus 9. Does a 23 hit. Okay, that is going to be 1d8. Ooh, 12. Uh, 12 slashing plus 4d6. That's uh, 10. 15 damage. Um, and you are also grappled. Also grappling. Where is she? And that's my turn. All right, Shata Malor. Oh, Jugen, uh, yeah. forgot to mention, at the start of my turn, I regained 20 hit points. Nice, thank you for reminding me, I forgot. Uh, in that same vein, I am assuming that my feign death frees me of the grapple that the guy had me under because I just dropped lifeless. I don't think he'd still be holding me. But that's up to y'all. Eh. It might drop you on this turn. Oh, I'll say. Uh, higher, I I'll say higher or low. Higher or low. Frustrous. Always go high. Roll a D100. Yeah. Yeah, higher or low. I uh, know I rolled it, so tell me higher or low. Oh. <clears throat> uh, low. Oh, low. Uh, he's not that very intelligent, I guess. So he lets, he's still holding his lip like, and he's like. He's looking at his master's like, probably thinking in his head, like, I definitely didn't do that much damage. I guess that's what they say about wizards. You just breathe them and they die. <laughs> so he's about to drop you. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Shata. Um, and then Fester so Shrondek. I have disadvantage on attacks, but the attack I want to use requires a save. Does that? Yeah. My, that's fine. I did cry as well, so you'll get advantage to balance that out uh well, so what i want to use requires deck save yeah if, so. if it's a spell it takes an action All right okay but there's not like an applicable disadvantage to that no 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 okay, they cool. roll they roll against your save then the big bad guy needs to make a deck save oh okay uh that was a four plus hold on what Dex. 13. He does not make it. So he will take 15 mm -hmm. acid damage. Yeah, okay. I'll, t I'll take it. I'll take it. And then as a bonus action. I can't. Uh, the action to free myself, that's an action, not a bonus action. Yeah, you have to take the time to try to free yourself. And I will end my turn. All right. Festress. <clears throat> so 15 acid damage, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, he'll snap snap back too, um, and uh, as you snap back too, he kind of releases your hold because he was already in process of dropping you. Okay, okay, but, okay. So you're no longer grappled, but you're kind of catch yourself as you're getting dropped to the ground. God, they're everywhere. <clears throat> um, the situation's feeling dire, even by Festus's standards. So he's. Uh, Festerus is going to uh, raise his finger at the uh, at the big one and um, cast his most powerful magic. I don't know how efficient it will be. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm just trying to see how, if it's a, 
It's not a roll to hit. It's a con save. Okay. Finger oh, of death. It's a con save DC 17. Uh, where are my dice? Roll well. That is an 18 plus 4, 22. Then it takes half of the amount of damage, which uh, okay. was 59, so 30. And what type? Necrotic. Um, I believe I have resistance to that, so 25, you can... I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, you have 15. resistance to necrotic, so 15 damage total? Yep. All right, and then uh, Gomez is going to... You want to start with that list like? Sure. Um, as he drops, you know, he was catatonic a moment ago. He drops, he kind of lands on his on his elbows, but he looks up and sees the the big thing has moved a lot closer, so he raises his finger, and his normal, jolly, jovial, healthy-looking stature, albeit pale, tends to really, like, drain, and his body really skeletals up as as a lot of this essence leaves his finger to shoot towards the uh the giant monster kind of kind of like a voldemort avada Kedarva battle is what i feel like as he's trying to do that and um but it obviously not as effective as he had hoped but all he's seen is charms and some spells so he thought maybe maybe this is what controls them not what nevertheless um gomez 20 to hit the uh, same one that was grappling Festerus. Yep, 20 hits. Eight. Eight points of damage. Not yep. magical, so it's not magical. It's a. <laughs> it starts looking at your skeleton. I'm starting to think it's more of a threat than you are. <laughs> All right, Zorpo. You're muted. Zorpo is muted. Like her headset. Sorry. All right. We are going to cast. Let's see. Is there anyone within arm's reach of me? You're flying in the air. No. You're 15. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, are any of them... Let's see. Are they grouped up? Pretty much everyone is grouped up. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to do this without, you know, hitting allies. Um, Fireball us. Do it. <laughs> no Always balls, fireball the answer. the barbarian. They like it. Okay, okay. If you insist, do I have fireball? No, I don't. Um, but we're gonna cast shatter. <laughs> on Zorbo. Uh, no, on, on sorry, on tags. No, not on tags this time. Not on tags. Um, no, we're going to cast it on the ones, uh, wrestling Shock to Malar. Or the ones around him. If I can get the camera to stop doing things. Oh wow. I was trying to get a better angle and it did not work. I was trying to get a better angle for you, but it did not work. Uh, what are okay. You doing? Uh, I'm going to center the disintegrate just to hit the two that are, are the ones that are uh, wrestling Shock to Malar. What's the range of uh, disintegrate? What's the radius of disintegrate? I'm triple checking that. It is a 10 foot radius and a 60 foot range. So, I'll give you an angle 
Uh, you can get two of them. Okay, if you that's if you fine. Wanna, if you want three of them, you will also get uh, a shot at the same time. Wait, did you say disintegrate? No, shatter. Hey. Right, I heard Sorry. disintegrate if as well. I, I miss. Hey, I miss. She said it a second time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I misspoke. I misspoke. I can't read. I was reading Dispel Magic at the same time I was reading Shatter as I came out Disintegrate. I have both of those spells, but we're not using that. Is it a uh, save? No, this is... Yes, it is a con save of 18. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Plus three. Uh, that is 14, 16, and then I'm assuming a 10 fails. Yes, does all fail. I would have to roll as well. No. Oh, oh actually, no. Yes. I, 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 yes no, only, yeah. only, only two of them, you said. Oh, yeah, I'll roll for three of them. Uh, we'll take that well, one. Well, two of them then. still failed. All right. They, all three of them failed, so the two yeah, failed. Yeah, so they all failed either way, so. Uh, you can either get the last two up top or the other two. Which two you want? Uh, the two up top. They take... Okay. Uh, 30 thunder damage. Nice. <laughs> I forgot to be getting down. So, this... 30, uh, 30 thunder? 30 thunder damage. All right, you got it. All right, and I am going to fly directly over the uh, the group and hover there. Oh, that one's not been hit yet. All right, you going to fly right over the group? Yep, I'm going to maintain my 15 feet up and just in hover over the group. Put your belt right there. Um, all right, uh... And I'm giving them their heels for the turn. All right, cool. All righty. Um, all right. Uh, is there any legendary actions first, Solden? Uh, no. Nope. Unless you want to just do some talking, it's up to you. Is this is probably. Um, I mean, uh, Jean can chat if she wants. Okay. Well, well, I guess we'll save it for her turn then, because she's at the bottom. Yeah. All righty. Uh, I'm assuming a 12 misses. So all the claws miss. So let's try to bite. Who, who are you attacking? Oh, I'm doing Chatala first. Chatala, Chatala more. Okay. Um, another 12 for a bite, so that's definitely going to miss. Uh, what about a 20? That is, that meets it. All right, and so then an 18 will not hit. So one bite will hit you. So let's do that for the piercing damage. That is eight piercing damage plus eight necrotic damage. And again, your hit points reduced by another eight. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, those are those three. For more, you get attacked, so I'll do You get it. advantage because I attacked recklessly. Alright, the first attack. A natural twenty. Second attack. Uh second attack will probably miss with a thirteen. No twelve. Yes. Door on the uh twenty. You got it Actually, back already? It's been around. You get it one reaction, right? Yeah, uh, it's it's already bit. I didn't do it this turn. I guess somebody got a natural twenty. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll do the claws because that's what it was. Take six points of slashing damage. You're not having these, right? I'm having them. I've not asked yet, and I've just been having all my damage. Oh yeah, I'm not having them. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, and then the bite, first one, that is a 21. 
Hits. And then a <laughs> uh, 11. <laughs> Does That's not, not hit. <laughs> All right. The bite is uh, for seven piercing damage. And the necrotic is five necrotic damage. Also reduces by five. All right. Uh, and then the last one. I'm gonna run to uh, your skelly friend, uh, so you get an opportunity to attack their uh, festress if you want it. Well, well, well. No, oh, course staff hits. Two points of damage. Yeah. Nice. Well, that's the first damage it's taken so far. <laughs> oh, actually, no, it's not. I did the wrong one. Yeah, it's good. Uh, and then it's going to... Uh, does a... Uh, 18 hit your skelly? It does. The uh, four, seven pierce, I'm oh, sorry, seven slashing damage. And then bite. Again, the same, same roll. So it's going to take two piercing damage plus, I'm sorry, that's five piercing damage plus six uh, necrotic damage. Okay, he's still standing. Although I'm nice. curious about biting a skeleton. That's very, that's very true. Bone. <laughs> not on a bone. All righty. Uh, but yeah. More like chewing on a skeleton. Yeah, kind of like a dog. Bra Gene, you're up. Okay, uh, I'm going to cast Bane at second level. So I, I get to pick four Huh? Never mind. Go to continue. Well, yeah, I want to get these guys kind of out of here a little bit more because we have too many enemies. I'm going to cast it on the main guy and the three surrounding um, Shakta. All right. Uh, what's the save? Uh, Charisma 19. Rolling. Charisma 19. Oh. Uh, they all fail. Charisma is a... What was the DC? 19. He fails, but then he succeeds. He chooses to succeed. Sure does. Um, I can't see where my um, um, spiritual weapon is. Oh, it's right here. It's just okay. It's just right off the camera, right here. Can I move it twenty uh twenty feet towards the big guy? If it reaches him, I'm gonna swing at him. Uh, you get about ten feet away from it. If it lands ten right feet away, right then I won't do that. I'll just attack the one that was attacking Grim. All right, so you're gonna keep it where it was. Yeah, I'll just see it where it was. All right. Do it, do it and then move it for, for next turn? Is that what you're going to do? Okay. Nat 20. Woo! Natural 20. Oh, wait, you're not going to send those doors that one? Jeez. How rude. Uh, that'll be 24. Nice. Uh, do you want to say anything as a free action? Amber's not here. 
What do you mean she's not here? I smell her on you. Okay, but she's not here. He looks very confused. I don't understand. You're not a Tepis. Nope. But you smell like one. You need to leave. Once you die, sure, yes. Okay. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Remora. This thing's still hugging me? What is going on? Yeah. Oop. Well, uh... Natural 20. Oh. <laughs> 16. Okay. 16 total? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> I got distracted of all the skeletons on our above VT. <laughs> What's going on? Um, second attack, I'll oh, attack recklessly. I was going to do that on the first one, but I accidentally hit it normally, and it was a nat 20, so I didn't need to. Uh, 26 to hit. That hits. Somebody's God, playing around with the VTT. <laughs> <laughs> Nine more points of slashing. Um, my weapon is magical, by the way. Yep. Okay. I know that. It's been taken all of Okay. It. But it's barely, like, it's, it's struggling to keep I, standing. I know, and I keep rolling twos and ones on my damage. Not fun. Yep. Uh, and that is all I can do. Since uh, grapple, I can't move still. All right, uh, tags. Um, sorry, my dogs are going crazy. This is terrible timing. Well, take this time. Please uh, donate to the cause. $50 gets you some bracelets and uh, some stickers. Thank you. And a virtual hug. All right, you're up, buddy. Are you ready? All right. So, um, what I was, I would like to pickpocket the big bad. I would like, I'm, I'm seeing him in, like, zoomed in on this conversation. He seems very, like, occupied on Gene. And, um, I'd like to kind of reach in to robes, uh, bags. Sure. Um, Give me a, a slight of hand check with disadvantage, please. Eleven. She has a plus twelve to perception. I'm gonna say that fails without rolling. Okay. Um. Uh, other DM, can I have a reaction for that? Yes. Thank you. Uh, tags. He's gonna. You swipe have legendary reaction, so you can pretty much do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. I'll use it. I'll, I'll burn my third legendary reaction to use that. Because you're um, nuts anyway. <laughs> Does a 19 hit? Uh, yeah. Okay, you are going to take uh, five mm. slashing and 10 necrotic, please. I don't know how this combat was designed to be not a full can I, combat. That's what it's turned into me. <laughs> can I can I at least can I use a bonus action to if I don't actually if I don't actually get to grab anything, can I just see what he's got 
on him like uh, you 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 did not pass the uh sleight of hand check i'm sorry oh no. so i didn't i didn't even get in there all right no he saw you coming and just snatched you down all right like, stop it <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right, I'll just bonus draconic cry again. <laughs> like, <laughs> one more time. I'll scream at him, and I've got my little yellow like, like coming out of my. I'm just, <laughs> I'm being, a, I'm being a thorn in his side. That's my full purpose right now, apparently. All right, um, Jean does a twenty, yeah, twenty-seven hits. Um. He is going to... You're grappled, correct? Because I grappled you last round, right? Yes. Um, you are going to take... Uh, where was the bite attack? 24. That's an 8 uh, piercing. Plus 3d6. Well, uh, plus 12 necrotic damage. And your hit point is reduced by 12. Your maximum hit point is reduced. Um, as he's tasting your blood, he kind of like pauses for a second and says, you have her blood in you, but you're not what I want. You should not be in this forest. I sense magic in your party. Do you have the seal? The seal is in the blood. Oh, yeah. The seal. It has to be maintained. It's more important. It's more important than you think. You need to maintain that seal. Do not go after Etha. You're muted. You can respond, but you're muted. What? Is that not why you're here? To stop Etha. To, to find... We're, we're not here to free Etha at all. Good. Do not go near Etha. Yeah, I don't want to again. No, thank you. I will warn you once. Do not die here. Well, that's kind of hard when you're killing us. Stop. And he orders his uh, underlings to stop <sighs> fighting. Anybody that is grappled, Grimora, you are now dropped to the ground. And he's going to turn and walk away. Wait, 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 who are you? You didn't want to even talk to me. And now you, you started have questions. attacking. You immediately started attacking us. What do you think is going to happen? You smelled like her. I attack first. <laughs> yeah, Amber gave me her blood. And? Then you're connected to her. So my warning remains. Understand. Well, you're avoiding the question of who are you? Hold on. Let me um, roll. Who I am is unimportant. Tell me what the cryptic warning and you're not going to tell us your name. You know about Amber. So that's kind of... Gene, roll me a history check. A 
thought Silver would pick this 13. up. 13. 13. From last year's session. No, I don't remember anything, okay? I'm tired. So, you remember in the middle of the final battle of last year, you remember a vampire lord. This is not him, but come and say to Jean and break Shaman's sword and say to, not Jean, but uh, say to Amber. Tell her the seal about the seal and everything during that battle. And he pretty much broke the sword of Shaman to keep the seal intact. Who That's was holding that? ether. He wasn't there, but you uh -huh. remember what the other one said to Amber. Oh my god, my mic's not picking up, Harlem. Sorry. You said that to Amber during the battle of keeping Aoife sealed. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. It wasn't him, Jean. It was somebody else. There's, there's no way I would free Ufa. Not after everything she's done. That's good. There's more in this forest than you realize. I'm starting to get that more. As you kind of just attack this for no reason. I recognize the fault in the situation. You have my apologies. No one is dead. Well, badly injured, I can admit that one. <laughs> Poor Shakta. Just but a flesh wound. Flesh wound my ass, you're barely standing. Then why are you in this forest? Shakta, show him. We come seeking a book. We a believe book. lost here. Yes. You come into the cursed woods, the woods of the blood rain, for a book? Not just Why didn't you just go to a library? No, the one of the living and the, the dead. The library won't have a book called Soul Flux. That's what we're here to find. We wish to retrieve it and remove it from this forest. What do you know about the book? Master, they don't know the true purpose of this forest. <laughs> no, they don't. What's the true purpose of this forest? That's not for me to review. What's with all the secrets? Because he, do, he doesn't want to tell us, Gene, but he's leaving. Sacreds keep you safe. <laughs> if he, these weirdos want to go back into their blood rain forest, that's fine. We'll have a conversation about everything else after they leave, and I get, like, a bandage or something. Uh, so his, his, uh, his minions are walking away. I'm going to drop concentration, too. So they're no longer banged. One last warning. <clears throat> we will be watching. That's be not very ominous at all. I mean, this is good. Do you know where the book might be? I don't know where we get any this book. book. The faster we get out of your forest. Just don't go that way. And he points in the opposite direction you're traveling. Toward Gene towards the cemetery that y'all found with her tree is. Yeah, I'm not going back there. Uh-uh, no. Uh, he Stop. is going to end this conversation, and because he has the ability to, he's going to turn into a cloud of mist. Oh. And slowly float oh. away at 20 feet per round. Is he trying to be like 
the disappearing act because it's not going very well. I'm I'll road performance it. check and see if you guys are impressed or not. You are not impressed by his performance. Turned into piss. Yes, Grimora. He turned into piss. We scared him away! Uh, we, yeah, I wouldn't put it like that. And I'm going to take a seat and start catching my breath. Uh, I'm going to walk up to him and pass. Hold on. Cure wounds at first level. Will that heal necrotic? Uh, I, hold on. It does not say. Are you talking about the maximum hit point reduction? Yeah. That that can't be hit or uh, heal without like a restoration spell or sleep. Without a what? So, uh, a restoration spell. Can't remember which oh, one greater or less. Oh, you talking about the the restraint reduction? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it would be um, you get the feeling whoever did Arcana check knows whatever. Um, It'll take a long rest for that to fit itself. The HP reductions? Mm hmm Well, you get 22 health back, but it, it, that helps a little bit, even though you're missing some health. Yeah. Pastorist is going to walk up to Gomez and grab his skull and kind of cleanly pop it off the rest of the body, which drops into dust. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to dismiss my spirit weapon as well. I mean, I oh, will say about a minute's gone by, so it'll be gone anyway. Did we stay here and rest, or should we try to push forward? Uh, well, it depends on the time, and if you're able to, we can go farther than rest, but that's up to you guys. What uh, about direction of those is guys your sigil I'm... pulling us? The opposite direction of what they told me not to go. Or told Jean not to go. Speaking of, Jean. Um, who were all of these people that guy was talking about? Does this have to do with the god that you tripped, fell, and let out of whatever? Kind of, yes. Um, they were the party that helped me try to help us um, stop the ritual. Amber, Simon, Mayor, War, and Shaman. And what's Amber's deal? She seemed particularly... Uh, she is the Tepes. Mm. So you were off gallivanting with nobles through a bloody rain cursed forest. Well, back then it I'm wasn't... I'm getting jumped no, 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 no. eight back... months later. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Wait, time out. Back yeah. then it wasn't mm -hmm. cursed. When we first went in this forest, it wasn't cursed yet. It only happened after kind of... Um, after the kind of slightly releasing of Itha. She's no longer in the trench, but she's not sure at the same time. It's, it's just weird. I don't know exactly what happened, but it, it, I haven't gone back. And I don't want to. Hmm. Are we going to have to deal with Itha? I hope not. I promise the God. you. And we're not going to go If it comes down God. between that book and your life, you belong to the Force at this point. Same goes to you. Uh, both Shaktan and Jean, can you please give me an insight roll? Eighteen. Twenty-three. Uh, yeah, you both can tell from the interaction that just happened that um, whatever that guy was, you know, Edge Lord Vampire guy, he did not want you going near uh, Etha. Um, and you're pretty sure that it's, um, that he kind of has no real idea what you're doing here. 
Um, and if you're going in the other direction, there's there's no reason to believe that anything has to do with Eva. All right. So we are going to go in the opposite direction where this metal is telling me to go, not toward mm -hmm. Eva or yep. your little weird forest friends. Uh, and... Okay. Is everybody else good? Does do we need to? He How's everyone doing? How's everyone feeling? I'm gonna point at tags. What was your problem? Why are you attacking us? <laughs> we remember this very differently. <laughs> From my point of view, you attacked me. Uh, you started attacking us first. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little dizzy. Zorpo, would you know what happened to him? You're muted. Interesting. Uh, I not. Yeah. Zoom. I think he was charmed. Wasn't very charming. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be. If it has the where with where uh, wherewithal of mind, it can charm whoever it likes, just like I can. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just cannot. called you stupid. I thought he was still mad about the, the wall in the temple. The explosion that you did, but... Hmm. What about it? Oh, I thought he was attacking you because you blew him up in the temple. Well, perhaps, but I'm pretty sure that he is... There, there was something crazy in his eyes that wasn't there before. I think that's been there since birth, Zorpo, but... We can. That's fine. Walk under the bridge. <laughs> I'm, um, I'd I'd like to search around the trees of where we are. To like, do, are there like, do, have I seen faces in the trees? Roll me a d10. Because I really like this table that we have made. <laughs> Four. Oh, what's four? Oh. oh, yeah. So I assume that you guys are... Oops, that's the wrong table. Sorry, one second. It's the shrine. He yeah, finds. so they're still walking through? Mm -hmm. Uh Yeah, so you guys are... I'm assuming that I, even after this is happening, you're talking as you're, as you're moving along. Uh, Tags, you're looking around. You're kind of investigating the trees. Um, you, you don't see any faces in the trees. However, you do come to somewhat of a clearing. Um, and what you end up seeing is it looks like there's a stone altar. Um, there's various, um, like, oh, look, a stone altar. How, how fantastic is that? Um, does it, um, does it have any resemblance of the, of the sea god? statue from earlier or is it like a different style uh it seems to be fairly generic but there's definitely um you kind of like you don't really know that you knew this before but you kind of already have an idea of what the iconography of Vodin, the god of the sea is and you're seeing there's at least some there there's some like maybe chisel marks on the side but you also see um, the symbols that you recognize are Irene. So like that, um, the intertwined snakes on a staff, you're definitely seeing those symbols as well. There's a bunch of other symbols that you don't really recognize. Can you give me a religion check? I mean, I would assume everybody else sees this as well. Anybody that followed tags? I'll follow tags. Ooh. Can you also give me a religion check? What do we get? I got a nat 20 for a 19. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, so you you see a bunch of other ones. You also recognize, like you've seen the symbols uh, at, at the at the um, the temple that you stayed at last night, the, the Temple of Valmaris. You're definitely seeing symbols like those as well. Um, and then just throughout your journeys, you've seen a few other ones. Like you've seen these these dove-like wings that you saw at this temple of Selfreno over in East Haven. Uh, you saw a, um, uh, 
uh, you saw a uh, like a it looks like a pair of glowing a pair of eyes with a faint cuttings of a of a fox head. You see that there, and you recognize that as the as the symbol of the god of the vagabond. And you see a bunch of these things, and you recognize this is a um, this is a traveler's shrine. This is a shrine that's set up so that anybody that's just passing by the shrine on their day's travel can stop. Uh, perform any rituals they need to, any any prostrations, prostrations, or any um, prayers, and then move on with their journey. And it's like clearly it's not been used in a long, long time. Definitely it is stains. A shrine, though? It's a shrine, yes. I pray to Irene. Can you um, give me a... What was your religion check? A six. A six. Um, even with a six, you definitely... You feel her presence. It's just a little bit stronger than, than normal. Like, nothing, like, super overpowering. Just, like, you know, if you had anything to say to her, she'd, there's a better chance she'd hear you right now. Irene, guide me on this quest. Keep me safe. Amen. I'll tell you what, this is, a, this is, we put this in here. Uh, you feel a warmth just rush over your body. You can tell that your God has listened to you. I get up feeling a lot better about myself. Did anybody else follow along? I'm watching and trying not to laugh. <laughs> All right. You guys ready to head uh, towards where this tablet's taking us? Or this artifact? You're the one that stopped us. Sitting there kneeling on, a, on the ground next to some stupid stone. Sure. All right. Let's head out. All right. As you journey closer, it is getting late evening now, closer to darkness. Uh, go ahead and roll me another D10. Everybody? You. You're leading us. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Eight, ten. Five. Oh, these are the fun ones. Okay, I'm, oh. I'm going to leave this one to you. Uh, uh, shot uh, from my own person game. You know what these are, but these are not. This is a different version of them. As you're moving along, heading north, let me, uh, uh, so the trees are getting thicker now, uh, as you're moving, and, uh, you find over in, like, a couple bushes area, you see these little guys jump out in a very non-threatening way. I would one, one is holding like a tree branch. The other one is kind of just not like just like a like almost kind of like a little walking tree branch type deal for how small they are. What what am what am I looking at? What is what jumps out? Give me a nature hold. check. A nature check. I would be uh, wary. I'm of gonna them. see what they are too. Hold on. I got a 26. <laughs> I got a 15. Uh, 26. Uh, Tads, you got a 26. Gene, not quite so much. You probably heard of them more like more than this. And then Freshers is also, you kind of know what these are. Uh, yeah, I got a 26 as well. Right, uh, I got a 3. <laughs> you do not know. So I would be very uh, cautious of these and skeptical of them. Uh, you guys know that these are Chihuangas. Little small. What are they? Fae like creatures. I forgot what they are. They're just generic forest dwelling creatures. Yeah, forest dwelling creatures. And uh, they. Like they hopping around. That happened to them, and then they're like. What the hell is I'm, that? I'm I'm gonna look at Zorpo, knowing that Zorpo also would know what these guys are, 
and I'm like just ecstatic. You know, have we seen them before, or is it just in like stories? Uh, Tags, you've heard stories of these, but you've never seen them. And Zorpo, you have only read about these things. These things are adorable and very rare. I'm gonna. And a, I'm gonna. And the blood up. rain starts trying down again. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, pull out my cracked drift globe, and speak its command to emanate light, okay. and then just sit down, and like meet them at their level, try and figure out what they're trying to communicate. Um, at least I, one of them starts dancing around your light. Uh, Start signs around, but you also tell that the since the blood rain has started again, the blood rain is not falling on them. It's like almost kind of hitting them, like almost like an invisible umbrella, just falling to the side of them. This is not actually hitting them. What in the nine hells are these things? Lunch, um, Zorpo. One of them kind of bounces towards you, kind of leaves Zorpo and kind of bounces towards you. And it sort of sticks its hands out in front of it and it's like... That's what I was just looking in my bags to see what I could give it. One second. Uh, the people that rolled high enough know the Chihuangas, they like... They, they can give certain boons or certain magical gifts if they receive something in exchange. Uh, I have a silver coffer that is a foot long, six inches wide and deep, and I'm going to give it to them. I, I'm also going to allow the ones that are dancing around my little cracked glowing light globe. I'm going to just allow them to take it out of my hand if they want to. Ooh. Uh, uh, you can, how big are chewing They're tiny. Like how tiny? Like six inches? No, they're not I'm, that tiny. I'm like okay. crisscross applesauce. Like and I'm they're about, about like a Okay, okay, body. okay. Just wanted they're to not. see if, if Zorbro was crushing one of them. I didn't know. I didn't know. They're not. They're not fair. <laughs> no, I'm not going to set it like on them. I'm going to like push it over to them. Six to two inches average height. It's half as tall as I am. I want rid of it. <laughs> Six to twelve. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and one of them takes a grip club. And like, <laughs> Ooh. The one by you, uh, Zorpo, starts to drag the the one, the thing you put down on the ground away, um, and starts like <laughs> uh, at the other one. Yeah. <laughs> And then another one comes over to start grabbing. And then I think we're one. being robbed right now. Not if you give them something. They look like gifts. What's that? What is it? What is is looking at you like, almost kind of like the eye face on it is like, like almost kind of like who giving to me type face. Yeah. <laughs> Tats. Sorry, I didn't realize you were talking to me there. I thought yeah, you were talking yeah, it, about it, a different one. But his face is looking at you as he has their griff globe in his hands. It's like giving the face like, you're giving to me, right? But like, yeah, I'm I'm being very nice to him. I'm like, I'm I'm ushering that that's yours now. He does a bat flip into the bushes and you're out of sight. I'm just waiting patiently. Tads, you start feeling less wet as everybody looks at Tads. And it, actually, at this moment, too, Zorpo, uh, the rain now is not hitting you anymore. The blood rain is falling off to the side. You're delightful. I don't have to keep cleaning. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> You can read and I can scratch at my crafts without interruption from the weather. I give a little bow Look to the her. to the Schwingas and uh and 
give a little wave. I, I, uh, one of them comes by and just kind of hugs your leg and then runs off into the bushes. I, I, I could reach out to give him a props. Does anybody else want to give anything? If they uh, stay I'll much give... longer, they're going to get my axe. I will give him uh, my old long sword. Uh, will they be able to take that? How long is a long sword? <laughs> Three pounds. Ooh. They got a couple candles. Long sword. Doesn't that have the length? It just has reach. Five feet. Yeah, Jean. Uh, Jean, when will grab a candle? Okay. Uh, at the moment, it, the moment it holds it, it lights the candles on the flame, okay. and it kind of dances back and forth dangerously. And with and that, Jean, away. the rain stops hitting you and is falling off to the side of you now. I want to kind of nudge one towards Chakta. Like, do you want one? Want one? What? A candle, so you can give it to them. Sure. There you go. A candle. Give it to the little Chuanga. Hey, hey. Thank you, Jean. <laughs> and rain stops falling over over you now. Anyone else? Grandma, Festers, do you want to give one something? I can add a couple more candles if you want. No, Festers, Jean, slice, Festers is in bliss right now. <laughs> Why are we giving things? As you notice, the rain stopped dripping on us and it's still dripping on you. That is why. You couldn't convince Vestris to It's raining. To That's why it's dripping on me. It's blood. You really want blood still on you? Yes. I'm not giving stuff to these little rodents. Alright. Up to you. If any of them get close to me, I am going to kick at them. Would you uh, let tags sit on your shoulders on our journey, and then that way <laughs> you don't need to give it to them? <laughs> I will definitely agree to that because who doesn't like kobolds? <laughs> Piggybacking. Uh, just give him a trench coat, and he gets closer. Yeah. <laughs> if you're strong enough, just carry tags and I on each shoulder, and then you never get wet. I am definitely strong enough. <laughs> Then give him a big three trench coat to trench be. Coat. Yeah, give him three trench coat. <laughs> three kobolds in a trench coat. All right. Wait, I have one of those. I need. I need one of those. I, I need. Nice. I need that in my life. All right. With that being said, uh, as you continue following the the slight pull, you start coming on. If you actually. Do I have it in up here uploaded yet? Oh, no, I have not added it to the scene. Lovely. One, 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 one. Uh, it's only take while I uh, upload the image. Uh, have them roll off the map again, or the thing. <laughs> oh, you want to go in more time? All right. Yeah. Um, somebody who hasn't rolled yet. Um, Zorpo, do you want to give us a 1d10? It's a nine, comes up on a nine. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this one's a little bit creepy. Um, yeah. As you're walking forward, um, can you all give me, actually the first the first two people in front, so that'll be Jean and Shocked, I believe. Can you guys give me a perception roll? And Zorpo. Net 20 for 30. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll go with that one. Jean, you hear the sounds of a child crying. Like, I was going to be coy about this. There is a child crying. I would say just off to the west um, or uh, up on this, this battle map. So we'll say east, I guess. Um, young child, not a baby. 
And it's not like, you know, like crying, like in pain. It's like sobbing, sniffling. And she's it's kind of like shimmers. Like anybody that has above a 15 will also hear this. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You're you muted, Chakta. What don't you like? There, we can hear a small child crying, and yeah. um, I think it's fine. I think no. that fi that child is fine crying where it's at, and yeah. we're going to ignore going. that Keep cry going. for help. Yeah. Um, it, and it's shimmering. It's, 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 no. Mm -hmm. no, 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 nope. no, 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 no. Everybody in favor of skipping the shimmering crying child and the blood force of death? Me. Actually, I think we should go give it something. I'll stand here while you do that. I was being sarcastic. All right. I don't know if you're being scared again, Grimora. Yes. If uh, nobody's doing it. Mm -mm. I will go up to it because he told me that, but am I carrying people here? <laughs> you are carrying, um, with permission, you are carrying uh, Zorpo and Tags. Are you going up to this crying child? Yes. We're going to go up there because I was getting scared. Uh, I'm going to stand Zorpo, back. You are heading to the direction and you can start to hear this this crying child. Would you like to hop off? Would you like to try and stop Grim? What would you like to do? Uh, I, honestly, okay. I want to continue just sitting on Grim and watching almost as if I'm in an audience and not involved in this situation at all. Just because I'm up on the shoulders. I'm just... just got I just want to see what happens. I'd like to follow about five feet back. I'm going to jump okay. off of Grim's shoulders, but cast Dancing Lights about 20 feet ahead of them and just keep it, just keep me behind them, but ca casting Dancing Lights ahead of them. Me and Jean, or I, I don't know about Jean, but I will stay my maximum moving distance behind tags. Um, as you cast Dancing Light, um, the crying stops. But then you hear a little bit of rustling. A couple of snifflings. And you hear this young girl's voice. Mommy? Daddy? Is that you? I'm scared. You're not. an orphan from the back. <laughs> what what happened? You're an orphan. I, I want my parents. I want my mommy. Can you help me I find I want a them? book. Can you help me find that? Um I'm Why am I rolling for this? A child doesn't know anything. Uh, she would just be asking to join them. Yeah. Uh, come, al come along. Could, Out of the rain, you? dear. Do I believe this is a child? I'm rolling inside. I got a dirty, I got Absolutely. A dirty 20. A dirty 20. It's definitely, it definitely sounds like a child. Uh, how close did you say? Oh, you were, you were basically on tags, right? Oh, sorry, on, on Graham, right? No, I'm like uh, about 10 feet behind Grim. She jumped off. Okay, Grim, how close did you get? As close as I can. So we'll say about 10 feet away. So Zorpo, you're about 20 feet away. You can see this little child. Uh, it's definitely about the size of a child. It looks like a little girl. Um, can you, you, you don't really see anything. It's like, you believe it's a child. Uh, can you give me an investigation check? Absolutely. Or, or a religion check if you want. Oh, 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 that's a nat one for investigation. <laughs> Looks like a kid. 100% a kid. It's a perfectly she... normal human child. Does she look like that to me? Uh, Grim, you give me an investigation check. 21. 21. Uh, this is definitely a child. But it's looking... 
it's definitely looking scared. Um, Zorpo, you can tell with your in, with your insight role that it's it's definitely scared. It it's definitely asking for help. Is Grim? she covered in blood? A little bit of blood. Um, lots of scars. One of her arms appears to be broken, and like you can see, a bone sticking out. Um, this child is dead. I'm gonna attack it. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna stay <laughs> on the shoulders while Grim attacks, and still just watch. Zorko, I'm gonna give you a chance to react. Because you see this thing as an innocent child. That is what your investigation <laughs> told you. Grim is about to attack an innocent child. Uh, Grim, please uh, please roll for attack. You did say a corpse, right? Like it's... it's Not a corpse. It's dead. Okay. I'm going to attack recklessly, which obviously I am. That's a 28 to hit. Uh, roll oh. for damage. Oh no. I hope you kill this thing in the first hit. 16. It falls to the ground. Uh, how do you, uh, can you please describe killing this child for me? I'm just going to slash straight through the top of his head. Let him meet the floor. He wanted to meet his mom. And what it appears underneath it is like a little bag. It falls to the ground, and a bag tumbles out from, from its side. I'll pick that up. Well, I can't, because I'm holding someone. Tag, pick that up. I will pin down so he can pick it up. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, that was wonderful. You've earned it. And I'm going to reach down and pick it up and hand it to, hand it down. There you go. I'm going to cast Mage Hand to, like, hold the little hand as they walk away with this child. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so inside the bag is three pushes of greater healing with a little note. It says, thank you. That's all it says. In common? <laughs> we did yeah. the right thing today. In common. So if you turn to the thing, as you now approach into through the trees, you see this, uh, what do you say, this compass heading towards you to this location. You see what seems to be the ruins of a temple as you are coming through the trees towards it. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. Thank you guys. I went a little bit longer than I thought. The combat was designed to have a little bit more of a talky talky feel, but combat was still happening for some reason. And then uh, it lasted longer because than I it's thought. Us. Yeah, exactly. And then y'all went on tangents talking to the fucking barkeep. I was like, okay, I was not playing for this. All right. Uh, we got to hit certain points, guys. <laughs> we only got a certain amount of episodes. So, yeah, sorry. It went a little bit longer than expected. Um, as these things tend to also happen. So we have two more episodes left. Um, again, guys, uh, if you would, love to have you guys donate um, to the cause. $50 or more. Uh, it gets you some bracelets and some stickers. And uh, I think, guys, yeah, so one last round. Right? Last time we'd be live would be Friday night for Dragonlance. Uh, don't forget uh, contest, Jugan. Don't forget the contest. Yes, uh, uh, while everybody is uh, saying their goodbyes, uh, exclamation point ticket to enter the giveaway, and then we'll roll right after everybody does their goodbyes. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Azul. I uh, do stream, theoretically, in concept, uh, um, likely on Tuesdays, uh, which was today, which didn't happen. But it'll happen, I promise. Eventually, it will. Um, again, please feel, like, uh, feel free to donate. You can donate at any point in time. Uh, it doesn't have to be during the stream. We will make sure that all of those get along to the proper charity and that uh, our players will get the appropriate words. Thanks for staying with us today. All right. Uh, uh, let's pass it over to... Uh, first I see on my screen is Shakta. Hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, hope you had a lot of fun. Uh, today was definitely a little bit more challenging. Uh, I took a couple cleaves, but it's cool. We'll get it back next week. So have a good day. Great. Uh, tags, you're up next. Hey, I'm having so much fun. 
doing this. Um, yeah, this is great. Uh, Summit Forgery, streaming on Twitch every day, but on a hiatus for moving. Thanks for coming out. Uh, I'm very excited for the next two episodes. This is a blast. So thank you guys. You are excellent hosts. Uh, you're totally welcome. Uh, let's go straight to Grimora. Hi, I'm Nagish. Um, I will be streaming this coming week. Uh, I actually have all my days off, so I will definitely be streaming. Um, Throne in Liberty is my obsession at the moment. Um, you will be seeing me Friday as well in Jugend's Game of Dragonlance. Um, thanks you guys, thank you guys for having me. I uh, I think my DMs for being able to control that many um, enemies at the same time. I know that's not fun, even with two of you. You guys did fantastic. Um, thanks to everyone who donated to charity as well. Um, and Festerus, I don't know if Gene is stepped out or not. Festerus. Yeah. Hey everybody, Cleansing Rain playing Festerus in this uh, charity event for Breast Cancer Research Foundation. If you do find any available money laying around, it's for a fantastic cause. And we're all just doing it because this group is a lot of fun to operate with, as well as uh, just generically feel good reasons to uh, donate to charities. So if you can, please do. If you can't, it's all right. Your support and viewership is very much appreciated as well. Um, other than that, I don't believe our next session is until the following Wednesday, so eight days from now. So be sure and keep that on your calendars because that's when we will be uh, giving away another figurine, a 3D printed model, 10 inch or one tenth scale model of Carlac. So for all you Baldur's Gate 3 fans, you definitely don't want to miss next week's session. Had a lot of fun here tonight. And thank you for having us. Thank you. Uh, with that being said, uh, I know Nerd Holla and Sir Silver Wolf has stepped away. Make sure I tag everybody in the title. Go give them a follow. Uh, show them some love, and uh, they'll be around streaming. Uh, again, thank you for all my players and my co DM for this. And uh, with that being said, uh, I'm going to pit the winner right now. Three, two, one. Father Tig has won the giveaway. So Father Tig, please speak up in chat to make sure you're still here. With that being said, Father Tig, are you here? Do -do 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 -do. Father Tig. Father Tig, are you still here? Are they in the uh, chat at all? Doesn't look like it. Dang. All right, let's pick another winner. Three, a two. It's a bold, bold strategy, strategy Cotton. Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. All right, three, two, one. Summit, you have won! Wait. Hey, 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 let's go. There you go. All right. Yo, that's so exciting. It's going to be a while, but winter projects. Let's go. Make some. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I know you get some Model. good use out of them anyway, so uh, just message me which pack you want, and I'll get it over to you. All right, buddy? Will do. Thank you. All Thank right, you. That being said, we're going to raid into Havoc, who's doing some RPG. Uh, or, I'm sorry, doing uh, Dungeons and Dragons for Tyranny of Dragons. So they have some pretty cool people in there. They got uh, Lady Lady M, Fotsy Project. Uh, I know our friend Weasel streams or is over there on their channel every now and then too. So make sure you show some love. Uh, and uh, again, thank you for supporting Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And we'll see you next Thursday for this, uh, for the giveaways as Cleansing Rain's already talked about. And Friday for Dragonlance. So love you very much. Have a good night.